Hey. Hey, I'm not late. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not late. I did it. It wasn't, it wasn't, my hair is such a mess today. I'm sorry. It like, you know, it has a mind of its own, you guys. It's got a mind of its own that I don't, you know, when I cover it sometimes like a bandana, that's when it doesn't, it doesn't want to do anything. And today we're doing something very different than normal, I guess. Hello, Sarah, Jaded, The Gamer Life, Cyan, Trinity, Candace. Welcome, welcome in. Welcome in. Let's, let's go. Oh my goodness, I forgot what we did last time. I'm so excited. I was going to go live a little early today, but <laughs> things got out of hand. Yeah, there's no late. Actually, I'm not late. Your clocks are just early. Your clocks synced to your computers are early. Hold, hold, hold on one second. <laughs> Wait, that's my phone. Hold on. Okay, I got my phone. I have it. So, uh, yeah, I was going to play Kalia this morning because th literally they were down for an hour last night. I should have just went live. Oh, wow. I was already, like, you know, doing other stuff. She's really like, okay, whatever. I literally do my hair and then match everything else to what the vibe of my hair decided to do that day. I'm not even joking. <laughs> Hi, Corian. Oh, I feel like you've told me how to say your name before. Welcome in. Hi, Hades. Hi, Kayla. Welcome in. Welcome in. Are you guys ready for today? So we're in this household because I think we gave them a baby. Decade challenge! Jordan, you're Italian. I think you've told me that before. I think you've told me that. And I just like... It's okay. You can always re-remind me. You can always re-remind me. Okay. Hi, avocado. Welcome in. All right. We're going to do... Yeah, no, actually, we are done with measles. Completely done with measles. I think we're still in 1657. Barely? We might actually have a happy new year coming up in a second. Let me go ahead. I forgot to do one thing in this household here. Um, I'm going to quickly uh, add some more relationships to this family so I can, like plop some kids into this family and then they can marry into other families um hades i remember you said this person i'm gonna have them um be married to an hong and then you said two of the women were in a relationship so i'll put them in like a you know what we'll do it we'll do it later because they're, they're not going to be married i don't think you said these two right Fei and Shin No. Yes? Who's who's your parents? No, Fei is your mother. So it was Yue and, and Xinyuan then. Happy time zone. Okay, we're good. I just want to make sure that they were a couple. So I can give them a child eventually. I can give them a child. We're getting out of Korean house. Ooh. You start in 1300 and you're in July 1346. Oh, you told, yeah, you told me that you were playing with, I think it was at the end of my stream and that's why. Yeah, you were saying that you played with exact months, like you divided up the, the time in the day. I am so sorry. I could not do that myself, but I like commend you. I'm like the people who are like look, watching me play this and say, oh, I can never do that. But I'm instead listening to how detailed you are. See guys, it can get even more detailed. The, Jordan Jordan is showing you like the, it can get even more detailed. The <laughs> people are incredible with this game. They had 10 children in 11 years, died in childbirth. 
oh my god wow buttery really buttery corn you children would no oh my god end up dating you as abro okay You it is abro is that like a is, is that like uh on the i don't know what that i don't know what the abro stands for i know i know what you're talking about but i don't know which one it is um it's not set to hetero with romantic exploration abro so i don't okay okay what is abrosexual i I'm, I'm assuming it's on the asexuality asexuality spectrum because usually things that start with ar could you please explain it for me hades i will just try and remember i don't know if i'll be able to fulfill all of their sexualities um was born Yeah, Jordan, I saw what you said. They they had 10 children. That's insane. Are they... Wait, hold on. Are you talking about different sins? That's crazy. Hi, Danny. Welcome in. Totally didn't just accidentally... Trinity, we did nothing. I, I'm literally just talking to chat. We have done nothing. I'm waiting for ads to um commence before we really start anything um we so we gave them a, a baby roll i'm gonna wait to give them one all right guys i think we set up that world we need to go and figure out what else is there left to do um in our our 1657 there might be some birthdays left i don't have my spreadsheet open typical brew typical brew i have my finger up though hi reggie welcome in it's a way to play with concubines uh there's yeah possibly there is uh some like royalty mods out there that maybe have that option i know there's like a so if you want a really good look at the royalty mod i would actually watch dr gluon's new let's play playing with it i haven't i watched a bit of it and then i i i gandered at it and i had it in my game for a short amount of time and then i took it out i know there's like an arranged marriage mod um which was it doesn't work with teenagers so if you're playing with teenagers getting married just know that um it conflicts with a couple other things too, so just be aware. But I liked it. It worked really well for um I think uh I think I used it for oh, what's her name? Tabitha. She died. She was uh her she was the daughter of she's verily sister. Oh my god, all the sisters are dead now. She's verily sister, verily had all those kids. And they're all the sisters from the Witt family who remember when I went into that household and then I just killed the parents because they weren't on my spreadsheet. It was that family. Um, and she died in that same massacre. I just, like, killed a bunch of sons of that household saying, I have too many sons. So. Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh, we don't even have music. How is everyone doing today, by the way? We'll play Palea soon. We will. I was sad that we didn't play yesterday. I kind of like, I kind of like bit my own tongue off there because I should, I should have just like waited a little longer. But literally, like, I was like, oh, I guess we're not gonna do it. Twenty minutes later, they're like, servers are up, servers are back up. So I went in and I did part of the tutorial. So like, I've already. So if you guys don't want like, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't want to see the very beginning of the game, but I want to see like the meat of the game when someone plays it. So I went ahead and I did like the very beginning and I got used to the game so I won't be like bumbling around on stream. So now I kind of know how it, it how it works. I also think I, sometimes I get nervous about playing games for the first time on stream. So I went in and I did like just a teeny bit so I could get used to it. So now I think we can like play it too easy. I don't know when we're going to play it though. I might just wait till next Friday. Um... I might just wait till next Friday, but maybe we'll play it. Maybe we'll play it tomorrow. 
and then we'll do decades. I don't want to encroach on our decades time though. Okay, let me do what I'm thinking of doing. Thank you for all the subs on my VOD channel, by the way. I, I haven't been very active on it this week, but I promise I'll get back to it. You want to look at past streams um, of specifically the Decades Challenge. They're all up in a playlist on my VOD channel. It's not from the very beginning, but it's from the beginning of a lot of the storylines we play with that we've made with chat. So, like, it will show the beginning of Samson, it, like, Samson as a child and then growing up. So you can, like, follow along the main storylines uh, and stuff like that will be present at the beginning of the VODs. But there's not, like, every single sim. Not every single sim. Ooh, I want to click on this one, but I'm worried this isn't copyright-free music. You know? Hold on, let me see. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna try this one. If it bites me in the butt, it does. Okay. I'm in like a really fantasy mood because I finished Fourth Wing today. I don't know if you guys know what book that is, but oh my god, it was so good. Oh, and part of the reason I wanted to get my phone is because I looked up, I allowed myself a small treat as I don't allow myself to watch TikTok because I'm not good at it. But I knew I had like a, a like a hard deadline of when I had to like start getting ready for stream and doing stuff. It's so good, Kayla. I think if you, I think it's like perfect for like people who, strangely people who both absolutely love Akatar and people who don't like Akatar. I think it's perfect for the two reasons. Um, I think it has, I think it has like the best parts of Akatar and then it left out like the worst parts. I think it's done like a really good job of that. I don't want to spoil anything. There, it, it's like, like if you don't, if you don't like Akatar because you don't like how much of the book is just porn, I'm gonna be honest, you're, you'll probably like this book because it's like two thirds of the book is like just pining <laughs> i'm gonna be honest you're here to be a problem for yourself and to procrastinate what are you procrastinating welcome in glory how are you um so yeah it was really good it's a okay kayla that's the problem it's a series uh and it leaves off on a cliffhanger but i kind of knew i like i from reading the book and having read a lot of fantasy books, just reading a lot, I kind of knew what was gonna be. That stuff doesn't really bother me because I'm pretty good at it just because I read so much. Like, it's kind of one of those things where like, if you read a lot, then you're kind of good at like picking up on certain foreshadowing. Um, but it didn't bother me. Some people are like feral about the cliffhanger and I was like, oh, you know, yeah, it's like, ooh, what's gonna happen? Yeah, Akatar is an abbreviation verbalized. It's, yeah, it's um, Accordus Thorns and Roses. And that's kind of like the biggest fantasy book right now, like new adult fantasy. I'd say that like it's at this point, it's like if you read books and you consume book content, there's no way you don't. I mean, not saying that you don't. You don't know. It's called A Court of Thorns and Roses. You've probably heard people talk about it. Yeah. It's, I read it and I enjoy it moderately. I'm like straight in the middle of Akatar fans. Uh, it's not a, it's not a five star for me because I laugh my way through half of it because it's a little bit, I'm going to be honest, it's, a, it's really cheesy in some parts. Um, and that's not bad. Like, I don't think that's a bad thing, but it's not like blowing my mind of the prose. I'm like a fancy writer. I like fancy writing. I like someone to like, you know drop some wisdom on me in their books and i just never felt like that book did that that's what makes a five star for me it's like you drop in some wisdom on me um and i learned something i don't really feel like i learned anything from those books that's why v shaw is my favorite author 
she has that beautiful writing style and no matter what she writes i'm i'm learning and the wisdom is dropped on me okay <laughs> let's get to this i'm gonna be talking about books forever i'm gonna be talking about books forever okay let's go and look at our spreadsheet actually what 1657 i don't know what day hold on i'll, I'll bring you in in a second I think we have Penelope and Montague to age up. We can actually just look from the the basic the basic map. We can just see the map to see how old these kids are. Okay. Um. Okay, Penelope, you're still a toddler, I think. So some toddler glasses indeed and okay we, we need to do penelope's birthday well let's go in there and do that we can see what time it is too keep hearing about it everywhere you never know what anyone's referring to oh yeah sorry no worries if you have book questions and you're like i okay everyone seems to know what this is don't worry here let me let me show you sign you you might have seen them in like your local walmart and stuff I haven't finished the series and I told myself I would finish it before I read Fourth Wing and then I lied to myself because I never finished it. They look like this. They're like these solid color book and they have this like, they always have something on them. This is what the book looks like. I feel like a lot of people have seen the book itself but may have not known. It's, if you probably, have, you maybe have heard of fairy porn. That's, that's what they're referring to. They're referring to those books. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Yes, spicy books are so hard to read most of the time because you're not when you're not into it yeah 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 and so that's why i was like fourth thing is a fourth thing is a little bit easier to get into it because it's less about the spice and more about their relationship um i don't know i don't want to spoil it too much because i thought it was really I, I don't know i thought it was way i thought it was better i thought it was better i'll say it i thought it was better it had it has dragons too which i think like dragons fae you know and so oh i wanted to share a book that i found um it's called uh i found on a tiktok someone recommending if you like fourth wing you should read this book they're like recommending a bunch of books it's called to shape a dragon's breath i think you guys will really like this one um i haven't read it but it's basically about um the basically an indigenous girl her uh, I don't want to say tribe. Her. It's just as her people. The people of her island basically find an egg. and A dragon egg. And they, like, take care of it. And she bonds with the egg. And then it grows up. Um, but then they are colonized. <laughs> um, and, it, with, uh, with, and then they're, like, going to kill the dragon. So she goes to their, like, dragon school. And if she can't get through their dragon school, they're going to kill her dragon. Because it, it, like, can't be tamed, you know? Because she's, she's, not a, she's not a colonizer. She's an indigenous person. So it's written by an, indi an indigenous person, too. So um, uh, their, their name is Monoquil Black Goose. Um, they're part of the... The author's part of the, C the Seekonk um, Wampanoag tribe. I'm trying my best here. Um... Oh, and she's and it said I was so interested because it said that she's really into steampunk and she's like a steampunk customer and she has all these like awards and she's been in all these steampunk magazines. And I was like, oh my gosh, is this gonna be like a steampunk world with dragons? And I just love a good I don't like coming of age stories, but I love a good like underdog story, like in a coming of age. I'm okay with that. Like especially when it's like fuck the system you know um and i really think that would be interesting let me show you it's, it's called to shape a dragon's breath i'll put it in discord later but i found that right before and i was like oh my gosh you guys would like this book <laughs> into autobiographies oh you're with crying in h bar i haven't read that that's really been something i've been like oh shit i really should read that one um I was in fact crying, but not in H Mart. I love H Mart. We have H Mart here. Um, 
It's good as spice, but sometimes it's nice with a little slice of spice too. Yeah, I'm like, it's it's hard when it's like, that's all there is. I I want I personally am someone who's like, I just want it to feel special. I want it to feel special, and that's why I like it in books. But if it's so often, it's like okay where's the plot i'm looking for a plot in here i'm not the person who's gonna just read a book for a spice so um i mean i have read some books that are kind of known for that but you know look i like to try things <laughs> i also just read a lot so i say that's a that's kind of just my excuse like i read a lot of books so about to start reading before the coffee gets cold yes uh, um has read that it's really good it's really good it's a really good book i haven't read the whole thing but i i, I was reading it I, my roommate owned it and i read part of it <laughs> while we were roommates and then we are no longer friends so i i want to purchase it but it's one of those books that is like really small and then stays really expensive it's like a $20, 200 page book. And I, sometimes it's just like, I can't do that to my bank account. I have to, that steampunk book sounds, I don't know if it's steampunk, but it says the author's really into steampunk. So I'm crossing my fingers thinking like, you know, like it's gotta have, like if you're like, if you dedicate your life to steampunk and then you write a book, like, of course it's going to be like a little bit steampunk, right? You rarely read fantasy or contemporary romance, girly. You have you read um Divine Rivals, Kayla? Cause it's on Kindle Unlimited. I've been really I think I'm gonna that might be one of my next probably not, actually. I have so many books. I've been really wanting to read that book because it's it's set in a fantasy world, but it I it feels like more of a contemporary romance. Um, and that, I don't know, people have described it both ways, of it being more romance or more fantasy, and I'm not really sure who to believe, but you should look it up. It's about two characters, they're kind of like, they're like reporters, um, and there's these two gods warring in their world, and they're like reporting on the gods' war, right? Um, and they both get sent to like different front lines or something, but then they start like writing each other messages on these like magical typewriters. That's all I remember. And I was like, oh my god, I love letters. I love books. I love epistolary books. I love um it's called um is it ergo not ergo er, 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 ergotic literature. That's what it's called. That's like House of Leaves. Um if you've read S by JJ Abrams. You are like Papa in this universe 2023. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for that. For that follow. Are you the official Miss Universe account? <laughs> okay. We need, to, we need to get into it. Guys, I start talking about books and then I never shut up and I never just do the game. All right. Um, before the next ad start, let's go ahead and roll for this little toddler here. This is. Lancelot, let me introduce Lancelot. They they them pronouns are queer icon. We literally spent so much time. Um, this is the sim we resurrected with uh Ambrosia. Um, but then everyone who had the skills to make Ambrosia died like right after, so well, we don't really have anybody else who can make it yet. But it, yeah, Lancelot was resurrected. This is their wife. This is their wife, Godiva. So, oh, someone from, uh, that's what I was going to say. Someone from um, chat redeemed Lancelot's wife. So you could always do that. Anyway, so Lancelot's hugging one of their kids. Love that. And then, so this is, so then their children are Galahad, Thaddeus, and then we have Penelope, who's becoming a child. I think Galahad and Thaddeus are going to become, and by the way, they're all femme sims. They're all femme. Their names are Galahad and Thaddeus and then Penelope. Which, honestly, I love it. I love them all. Great names. <laughs> we decided with this household that we weren't going to care about gender at all. Because, like, you know, if their parent is non-binary, then, like, why would the rest of them, like, why would their children grow up with, like, gender norms and stuff like that? So, we love that. We love that. Can't, it's fun to have, like, one family like that in this household. So, one of the pieces of the toddler reminds me of Kermit. I know, right? It looks like a Kermit one piece. Oh my god, speaking of. Kermit's in a new position, guys. They're trying Spider-Man. Oh, hold on. 
<laughs> there we go. That's better. I was like, something's wrong. Yeah, it's that. Here, everything's all messed up today. Sorry. Make her at the bottom. It's because he has these long limbs. Um. Yeah, I kind of, you know, I know what you're saying, but I kind of imagine that, like, they switch it up. I feel like Kermit's the bottom, though. I don't know. I, it's my headcanon. You can have headcanons. You can, you can, you can switch the story. Can't wait to make your name a Victorian child. Bobril. I love that. No, those are the names I want. I want Bobril. I want Bobrils. I want the funny fantasy names that are like, yeah, I can imagine that, but it's also a little strange. <laughs> oh, yes, the lovers of Oat. I forgot what what tier that's at. But there is an emote of them. There it's in Discord too, so. You want them. Princess Cheese is also a real Victorian name. I love that. That's fantastic. Okay, I told you I was gonna roll for this top there, and then I just have it. <laughs> okay, four, eight, seven, wait. 13, 19. This is become this is a toddler becoming a child. It's 13 and 19. Are the death rolls? Come on, Penelope, you can do this, Cite Puede! Yeah. Yeah, or Cite Puede. <laughs> uh set age to a child. Congratulations. Bop, 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 bop to the top. Okay, it's Saturday. I think this is still... Oh, you're probably gonna do like... Give you that one. Okay. Alright. Oh, Jeanette gave us a gift? Her cousin Jeanette. Haven't you seen the Kermit puppet reaction image? <laughs> We're done with measles. We are done with measles. I'm like double checking. I, I did update my title late, but I think it is correct. We're done with measles. We're done. We're just it's still in that year. So we did the we did the last rolls at the very beginning. Okay, Penelope, and I think Montague, and Montague, I think, is, oh, I don't know who Montague's child, uh, Montague is, okay, is, is Charlotte Dorant. I always forget about this family, oh my goodness, we're gonna wait till they're children, and then we'll send, send this family's children away. Um, these guys, Montague's the baby. <laughs> you find high school musical stuck in your head. Bop, 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 bop to the top. Sip inside and right the rhythm. Zip, zip, zip. Don't stop and start again. I don't know if those are the right lyrics. I used to know the whole we're all in this together dance. I learned it at summer camp. Um, uh, We were going to do it as the talent show, and I think we dropped it. And I, th I think we dropped it because we were learning it and then everyone else started wanting to be in on it and like learn it with us and so instead of doing we're all in this together because we're like wait no that's too basic too boring um we decided to do a, so, uh, one of the older kids was like Liz, we're gonna do we're gonna do kids by mgmt and then i and then i was introduced to mgmt and now i have that record it's one of my only records and i have it so we went from high school musical to we're living like trees. <laughs> this is the dance we did. Trees. Oh my gosh. Crab please is perfect for we're all in this together. If you can't see the moat that Mystic Fig just used, you guys should get um, BTTV extension. It's like BTTV for Twitch. Don't worry. It's just like a Chrome extension. So it can't really do anything to your computer because it just is on Chrome. Um, but you can see like some if you don't have it you should get it because first of all if you have trouble like reading certain like name colors it can make the names readable colors so you can like adjust the colors of the names it has like accessibility features like that but it also has um other features um that like these emotes you can see all these extra emotes and stuff so it's really fun and if you have any BTTV emotes you think I should get, let me know. I have a couple slots open, so. 
I have a couple slots open. Yeah, some settings. Yeah, but I think that one of the most cool parts is that it has more accessibility settings. Um, that you just wouldn't think about. Um, I have readable colors on, so. Okay, baby. Are you supposed to be an infant? Wait a minute, are you? Oh, sorry, we already did this baby. We already did this one. Because you're an infant. I thought you were a baby. You, you're bald, so I thought I did think you were a baby. Okay. Come on. Yeah! Oh, yes! Avocado, that's the most important thing! Oh my gosh, hi, Minecraft! Welcome in! Um, yeah, so, like, because we use channel points, it was, like, um, a pretty central piece of our gameplay. I would get BTTV because it will auto-collect, and, like, the little treasure chest, it will auto-collect those, too. Uh, your channel points. So, you'll never be- so, if you're, like, a lurker, it will do it if you're lurking, it doesn't matter what tab you're on. It'll just do it for you. So that's how why I have so that's why like when you know, like people are like have so many channel points, you're like, how do they have that? It's not just because they're subbed, it's because they have BTTV. So <gasps> you're gonna go to New Jersey Slay. Oh my goodness. So again, back to books. I've been watching all the book girlies. Um, and like two of them live in New Jersey. You guys watch Steph Boer or Sarah? What's her name? Sarah. You, if you know Sarah, you know Sarah. You, Sarah and Destiny. Come on. You watch BookTube. You know, you know them. Um, and they both live in New Jersey. And just seeing them always go to the beach in New Jersey, I'm like, wow. I never thought New Jersey would be this romanticized. <laughs> never thought I'd want to go to Jersey. <laughs> I just want to go to the East Coast because I've never been. You know. I just want to be a girl, you guys. <laughs> You're bringing two books with you. Oh my god, what are you going to read? What are you going to read? Let me know. Let me know. I love books. As you can tell, I just won't shut up about them. It's it's like the, the euphoria when you finish a really big book, though. You're like, yes. Yes. I'm also close to being done with the first book in the Chestnut Ridge series. And I say, I like it. It's been taking me a while though because I stopped to read Fourth Wing. So, and I've just been busy. And it's not a physical book. I prefer physical books, so. Very glad in New Jersey being known for other things than the Jersey Shore, reality TV, as Jersey resident. I feel like... Yeah, I mean, you know, it kind of did have that, like, you know, feeling for a while. I'm gonna go to America for no other particular reason, and it definitely isn't because 95% of your friends live there. Rip. <laughs> You'll find a good reason. There's always a reason. Alice in Wonderland and Wings of the Fire. Wings of the Fire. Dark Secret. Oh. Interesting. Sad European hours. I'm so sorry. My my mod Tilly feels you. So interesting. Wings of the Fire. I feel like I just saw someone recommend this book. The Dark Secret. We love a dragon book. I'm looking it up right now. We love a dragon book. Love a dragon book. Interesting. Okay. We'll see about that. Have a good lurky, Jaden. Um, okay. Oh my gosh. Third trimester? <gasps> no way. No way. Okay. It's Saturday. Yeah, Saturday is the last day of 1657. Um, oh my goodness, we have so many sips. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You need to take care of your first kid though. Come do some tummy time. Okay, you, um, will you, like, clean the shed? Is this stinking, too? Clean coop. Collect eggs. Oh, no, we don't need it. Never mind. Just, this guy's slightly dirty. Okay, at least collect the, collect the eggs. I'm starting to collect two. 
We don't have any mini goats because we literally like we'll get more when we have kids to take care of them. <laughs> but right now we have like nothing. Oh yeah, I think my game crashed when I had them pay their bills and then I just like said F that so their bills didn't get paid. Yeah, we have a hatchable egg, incubate and coop. Last time we had a hatchable egg, I think it like rotted for some reason. I don't know why. Like we when we cleaned it out, it disappeared. And I was like, what? What happened? What happened to my hatchable egg? Oh my gosh, yeah, of course. Send them in Discord. We have a book channel. We have a book channel. Our horse is inside. Come here. Can you? Oh my gosh. I downloaded a mod and it replaces. I have to fix that. I didn't know it was going to automatically replace all of their umbrellas. Hold on. Can we do like. Um. How do we do. How do we get their umbrella choices? Do I get to outfits? Why can't you change into the new? Oh, in front of a child. Where's the child? <laughs> I didn't know it said that. <laughs> Your sim can't take their clothes off in front of a child. I'm glad that's there, but um, is there a child out here? Why should there just be like a child on the street? And I was like, gonna have a. So are you a child? No, you're an adult. Okay, well, fair enough. The poor chickens, they don't want to see that. Um, I was just going to try and find how to close the umbrella. Change it. There, um, there is an object for it, but there might be an MCC setting. Oh my gosh, Diane, you're amazing. You have to click on the umbrella objects from build mode. Oh. Well, I don't think umbrellas exist in this culture yet. And build mode. So, like, the umbrella stand, you mean? I don't want to get an umbrella stand. <sighs> Maybe I could just be, like, close umbrella. There you go. Oh, no! I hate that they automatically use the umbrella so much. Like, I wish you could, like, choose to make them not use it. We'll figure it out eventually. MCC, MC cast, choose favorite umbrella. Okay. Thank you, thank you. You guys are so helpful. Copy, manage, randomize, select, select favorite umbrella. Oh my gosh, look at all these pretty umbrellas I have. Oh no, it doesn't have. Oh, I see. This mod must have just replaced them all then. What's this one look like? Well, at least that'll be a cool one. I, it replaces them all. I didn't know it replaced them all. I'll have to delete that mod then. Stat, I thought it was just an accessory mod. You forgot its name. <laughs> no worries. Thank you, everybody. Okay, can you um, direct horse to... Actually, what if you guys did a little competition? We haven't done a competition in so long. No, you're still not that good at jumping. Ooh. Okay, well, we gotta work on our jumping then. Um. Call Apollo over there. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> he did the horse backs up and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what do you want? What do you need? Your fun is poor. Oh. Well, that's on you. Can we, can we like play with our horse? I've never talked to get stable gossip. At least we can like talk to our horse. Um, and then no. And then we'll have you guys. Babel unlock. Yes, Slay. Okay, mama. I know you're the money maker, but <laughs> can you? Oh, you can talk to him. Can you? Uh. Do tummy times. How's she feeling? Still fun for her. okay. Our cats running in and around the chicken coop is really funny. 
No, what? Why do we unmount? Why do we dismount? Mount. Oh, she's gonna go play. He's gonna go play. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. I didn't want to play with you. I didn't want to do anything anyways. Sir, uh... No, I don't think you can do anything. Okay, wait, this is funny because we didn't move our stuff over and make the house bigger. <laughs> Forgot to take that all out. Your horse is not a car, Apollo. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. We're gonna mount? Okay, awesome, great. Oh, dang it, I forgot to fix them. Go fix them. Okay. Now, now. We're having a lot of trouble today. Lift head milestone unlocked, yay. That ball just flew into nowhere. Okay, will you paint? Oh, sell this. Sell that. Will you fertilize? Why don't you like... Oh, you can't fertilize anything. Well, fooey then. I guess we won't. Beg your baby. <laughs> Bug your baby. Um, wake up. Chrissy, wake up. I don't like this. Chrissy, wake up. Ooh, intensely trained. I didn't wear Stranger Things. Oh, wait, hold on. No. Oh, no. This is the wrong shirt. Oh, I thought I was wearing a different shirt today. I totally... I was going to wear my... um. I have this really cool uh, Doctor Strange shirt. I literally I was like, oh, I'm wearing... And then I was like, this isn't, this isn't the shirt I thought I was wearing. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is weird. Time to wake up. Time to wake up. You've knocked it over already? Are you joking? Okay. Pencil train. I think I forgot to do a... This is my fun drink today. We're, we're going we're going three drinks for three drinks. And then this used to have foam on the top. It was a really fun coffee. I'm gonna drink it. Oh, I forgot to put ice in before I put the foam in, so it destroyed the foam. <laughs> it's fine. Can you do tummy time? Funny activity tummy time. Do funny activities tummy time. Do a funny activity. <gasps> Guess we're already doing tummy time, so we can't do it anymore. We're getting so good. I love hard co I love it too. And also Sprite. I was having like cheese and crackers for lunch. So the Sprite was like, I don't know. I feel like Sprite goes with cheese and crackers. He's fun. He's fun. He's fun. I'm cold. I have my blankie here. I should just get a coat. I know. <laughs> Instead of just a blanket. Or I should just turn the AC off or fold. Or like turn it down at least. <laughs> no, I want a blanket. <laughs> tummy time. You must do the tummy time. Tummy time, tummy time. I don't know what she's doing with her body. What is wrong with this picture? okay this is my hair i don't know what's going on it's like the dress is clipping off her belly for some reason that cat i'm like who's thinking <laughs> why are you sad you're hungry oh um Okay. Press feed the baby. Press feed the baby. Ooh! Roll over and back milestone! 
And you guys have level five now? Great. Okay. Awesome. Now, enter a competition. Um, like this one. Enter this one. No. We're muting our phone. I forgot we can... Forgot. I always forget those exist and then I'm like enamored. Like, who's this? The noble... Where are her knees? The noble who demanded them as sacrifice. <laughs> okay. The stakes are high. Did you... You know, you have it. What is she? Can you? Then go to the bathroom. I just wanted you to feed your baby. Okay, breastfeed the baby. Oh, he's sleeping. Never mind. Oh. Oh no. No, don't crash, don't crash. I wouldn't even do anything. It just like stopped like going for a second. And I was like, no, don't crash. Oh, well. What to do when Sims crashes on ya? I know, I saved, I did save. I don't think it was like recent. I don't know. Like we only, we only did one like one day. This happens a lot though. I don't I don't think it's any CC. I think just sometimes my CPU it, it doesn't lag, which is like the most annoying part when it crashes or like oh. And I've had the roller up this entire time, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> oh my god. It's okay. She's coming up. She's she's working on it. Oh, Danny, you got me. <laughs> It's, it's been more than three times, but since we started it. <laughs> oh my goodness. My friend just told me that they're going to read fourth player. I'm so excited. I Surprisingly, one of our other friends... I, this isn't surprising. This friend is like, like classically... Dragons is like their thing. And so they read fourth thing and they really liked it. So I was like, that's it. If this person liked it and they are, they're, they're ace too. So I was like, okay, if this person liked it, this should be really good. Because like, it's like that, you know, like some, someone who has these interests, special interests and like, then it, you know, yeah. with the reputation, I was like, okay, perfect recipe. It was really good. I got a little bored towards the end, but I'd still recommend fourth thing. So Then drink some water. Drink some water and then... Oh, chocolate milk. If you're thirsty, drink water. I love chocolate milk. I can't say no to chocolate milk. Some good old chalky milk. We stand the, the ace dragon people. It's me. I am, I am ace back dragon people. <laughs> Yeah, my fr my friend, yes. She read it and she really liked it. So there you go. Ace people love dragons. My my friend who's also ace of those dragons um, liked Fourth Wing. So there you go. I'd say the book is like primarily dragon based. It's a little it's a little sad though, the book. Like when the people say that they're like, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of death in the book. Um, just because of that. Oh my god, thank you, Raggedy Lesbian. Thank you so much. It's, uh, it is a beautiful loading screen. No, the, no, we did save when we went to our main family. Okay. We'll have to just restart everything we did in this day. It's fine. It's fine. It's not like we got super far and everything and then... It is what it is. The loading screens, I believe, are in my Discord. If you want to join my Discord and get them, 
I believe I had linked to this one. If not, it's on my Tumblr, which is also in my Discord. I should probably put my Tumblr in my socials. Thank you, Danny. Um, here, but you know, if you want to link to it and not if you don't want to join the Discord, I can get that for you. Um, yeah, they're really cute. I like them. It comes with a set of loading screens that are like old timey. And I know that, like, everyone who plays this challenge, they use this particular set. I got this from Morbid Gamer, This these loading screens, and she uses a different one. And then I've seen another person playing it, being like, I'm like, oh my god, they're playing this challenge and they're using the same loading screens as us too. Yeah, and Crash is frustrating, but you see how easy I took that? Uh, I have lost way more stuff before when the game has crashed. And I've also had really bad crashing in the past related to mods so i'm just like not phased by it at this point i just feel bad because it takes so long to load and then we're all waiting for gameplay <laughs> with the game loading oh you're a console player no i'm so sorry i mean you could you could play base game this challenge, I don't know if I could do a base game. Like, I know a lot of people do do a base game and, like, hats off to them. But look at all the pretty stuff I have that's not base game. <laughs> and downloading mods with base game is so hard. I feel so bad for anyone who, like, like doesn't have the budget or came to Sims, like, later. I luckily, the only reason I can afford all this is because I've been buying it as it comes out. I don't know about the kits. I haven't been buying those as they came out. I have a lot of them now, but that's because I stream this game. So it like makes more sense for me to invest back into buying content for this game. So that's how I think about it. So never compare yourself to streamers. Never compare. Um, and even though I've only been streaming for two months, so. Who knew? Oh my gosh, guys! It's our two month anniversary! Oh my goodness! I really think it is. I think I started June 5th or... I think I started June 6th. Is tomorrow? Is that is that right? Hold on. I started on a weekend. Let me look. Well, it must have been like the 10th or 11th then. Or did I start the 6th? No, I think I started the 6th. That was a Tuesday. Oh my goodness! Two months, guys! Two months! <laughs> You have base game on your PC, but after spending hundreds of hours, I know exactly what you mean. Spending so much time on your families on console. Yeah. I think it's hard to play challenges on console. Actually, I think Not So Berry is not that hard on console. Now that you have the gallery, I think you could do Not So Berry. You just download little Simsy's assets, and then you make the berry, you know, a colorful sim, and you can do it. But other challenges, like this one... I don't know. You could also play probably like the career legacy challenge. That's Rochelle's challenge um, on console. It's a really uh, base game friendly challenge if you're looking for something challenging, but also like easy. And if you Google that, uh, the career legacy challenge has its own website, which is really fun. So yeah, I think it's must have been does it transfer, but that's that's not really a sims thing that's kind of just like a pc console thing it's not it's not just the sims that doesn't transfer it it's pretty much how it works with every game unfortunately that is just the stinky little norm you guys know what game i want to play that i can't play because i don't have the right console for it hello kitty island adventure it's only on the Apple store. It's only on like Apple's thing. I don't own a single Apple product. And I'm like watching my friends play it being like, oh, I want to play this so badly. Cause it looks like, it looks like Animal Crossing. And I don't know, it kind of looks like, it's like, it's like that Animal Crossing where it's like the vibe where it's like a child could play this, but yet I am so vastly entertained by it. It's so cute. I'm such a big Sanrio fan. And I feel like I have had... I feel like I've always been, like, the best friend of all the of people who are just, like, mega Sanrio fans. <laughs> so, I feel like I've gotten, like, all this... I don't know, like... Like, uh, I put in all these hours at Sanrio stuff. I'm like, I just want this game. 
Mass Effect Day, mayhaps. Is it is it Mass Effect Day? You don't want to know another game I want to play? So many games are just like coming out or like they're getting content for it right now. I also really want to play Baldur's Gate. My friend, my friend group has been talking about Baldur's Gate for years and years and years. And I, I want to play it. I think it's a little scary. I'm, but it's not. No, as in I play Mass Effect. If you haven't already. I have watched my friend play Mass Effect. I've, I've been like a backseat um, watching my friends play it through. Um, I've watched Viv play it, but I also have watched my friends in person play through Mass Effect. My roommate was obsessed with Mass Effect. It was like their thing. So I've, I've, I've been, I've been there. I also remember that, uh, I, I have this really weird memory. My very first convention, apparently the convention got like, it wasn't, it, it wasn't a big enough convention that it, the, the, it was like... It was like a Mass Effect trailer. It wasn't a big enough convention that it was like the first place it aired, but definitely it had been like the, the newest Mass Effect trailer had been like, it was like Mass Effect 3 or something like that. It had been like locked and not online. And so I will never forget when they played that trailer, like the excitement in that room of all these people seeing this Mass Effect trailer for the very first time. So anyways, that's, my, that's what I have. That's my special memory of Mass Effect. But I've only watched other people play it. Oh, Sai, you don't. You don't. A lot. That's like the number one review from um the game is that you really don't need to know anything about D D to play Baldur's Gate because it's it has like a little bit of D D lore. So if you're a lore person, don't worry, you have a lot of access to it, but it will, the game is conclusive. So it will teach you how to play the game itself. You don't need to know how to play D&D. You don't need to know anything about D&D because the game itself will teach you how to do everything. And they were saying that like the dice roll, like you, you look, it is like a little bit of a thinky game. You got to think to play it, but it will teach you everything you need to know about the game. Yeah, you don't need to know anything about D&D. Welcome in, Eve, is it even the possum? Welcome in, possum. If that's what you want to be called, you can tell me if you want to be called something else, but we love possums here, so. Okay, I want you to, um, all right, what were we doing today? Okay, we're doing tummy time. You're doing tummy time, and, he, and so he can finally call forth the horsey. Wait, hold on, you need to fix this. And then maybe your horse will come. All right. Mount. And then we're going to... We already know what we're doing today. Our game crashed, if anyone is new here. Our game crashed. And um, so we cut, we only lost like a day of stuff. Um, And it crashed after we did all of this household hopping. So it, it crashed at like an okay time. It sucks, but it, it's okay. Okay. I need you to intensely train. Um, yeah, so that's what I heard. I'll play it and I'll, I'll let you guys know, but I haven't even bought it yet. But yeah, so like there's the Hello Kitty game. I can't play that. That's off the table. And then the Palea. There's so many good games out right now, especially because I'm a really big MMO fan. Um, and the reason I was really excited about Baldur's Gate is because one of my really, really good friends loves divinity that's like his divinity 2 is like his favorite game ever and he's tried to get us to play it with him like on like uh lan like side by side side by side so on the same console we played divinity before and it just took so long and so <laughs> come on baby you can do it so and I liked, I liked Divinity. I thought it was fun. I just was a little too, the battles were too, too long. And that's what I've heard. The, it's like the game, the battles aren't so long as Divinity battles. So you can just be even, even. Uh, Evan, sorry, Evan. She literally just said with an S eh sound, Evan. Your chocolate milk isn't chocolate milking? That's the worst! No! Did you use like Hershey syrup or something? Sometimes, you know, it's deceptive. You have to put a lot of syrup in it to make it taste like chalky milk. 
That's why I think milkshakes are better. But, you know, you're working with what you got. You explained your circumstances, and I'm wishing you good luck. Um, tummy time! Tummy time! Come on, we're gonna do this, and we're, you're gonna level up, and then we're gonna give everyone a break, and he's gonna go clean everything out. Okay, we did, we did level five. Okay, break time. Let your horse have a break. Then we're going to clean the shed. Clean the shed. Um, milk, milk machine. Oh, I totally forget. Some every once in a while, it like resets their phones, and they don't. Their phones aren't muted for some reason. Left eggs, scatter feed. Oh my god, guys. Another sim. Oh wait, stop, game. You're giving me like a heart attack that you're gonna. You know what? We're saving. We're halfway through the day. We're we saving. <laughs> I'm gonna say like every like couple seconds now. <laughs> Have you missed it? Our game crashed. It wasn't a bad crash though, so. Our horse is getting their playtime that they need. Their social is low though. It's okay. We'll, we'll be fine. Okay, your turn to go pee. Go piss, girl. And then what's the baby need? The baby's gotta go piss, girl. Okay, well, we can't help you with that. You just gotta do it. Grab milestone! Tummy time. Okay, now we can go incubate and coop. You clean milk machine. Oh, I know we have to pay our bills. Okay, um, pay your bills. Okay, and now we're going to enter our competition. And I was like, wait a minute, we we should have a. <laughs> we'll do an intermediate jumping competition and see where we get. Hooray! Everybody's happy. Okay. Why are you- why are you doing that? Girl, you had so much food out here, you don't need to make anything else. Why don't you just, um, I know he probably needs to be breastfed. I just want to, like, get this infant going. Your chocolate milk is chocolate milk in hell, yeah! We love that. Oh no, I roll over to back milestone unlock. Slay. Slay, slay, slay. Slay, slay. Hey, chicken. I cleaned this cow! Silver! Okay, I think we probably did better than that, but okay. Clean milk machine while you're at it. Send that to the collector. Back to city. Okay, we're gonna save one more time. I'm just scared now, you guys. I'm just like... I'm scared. Ads are starting soon, but don't worry. We're just gonna be doing this. I won't do any rolling while ads are playing, as per usual. Why are you sad? She need to put no she's fine she's fine she's fine she's fine can you um milk milk machine there are consequences to your actions you are like papa oh is it you is it euphoric thank you so much for that follow or euphoric euphoric your wait no that's not euphoric eorphic eorphic i got it eventually but I got it. 
It, t it may have taken me a, s a bit of time. No, you're not going to bed. We're doing friendly activities. No, wait, not tummy time. Wait, what are you doing? <gasps> Watch milestone. You can do it. Oh wait, we we I thought we already did that one. I thought we already. You know, yeah. Put it to bed. It's fine. You can put it to bed. What is this? Oh, breastfeeding. <laughs> I've never seen that mood level before. Welcome back, Jaden. How are you today? Okay, we. I asked her to put the... Can you... Oh, Joseph is sleeping on the ground. You know what? That's fine. This. Eat it. If you're sitting here, eat it. How are, how's everyone doing? You're fine. You're sleeping. Okay, you're gonna eat. It's only 6 p.m., y'all. I mean, like, you could, but, like, it's only 6 p.m. Is you making your pancakes, girl? Might as well. Do what makes you happy, you know? You do you. And the tummy, I know, right? So this is our main household, so we don't really get to play with infants very much um i played with them like on my own she's on the third trimester any any day now she's gonna pop so um we're just waiting okay the... <laughs> okay mira it's where it has just gone into labor so i have the rest of the uh side household on like a i guess like a like a timer so we do like one pregnancy a day um, I know. Of course, why, why are you doing this? Why are you in the outhouse? Um, um, but our main household kind of just, I just do it whenever they can, you know. There's no time in that. Um, okay, Mira Ainsworth. It's okay. This is, um, going to be an out-of-the-norm pregnancy. If you remember, the Ainsworths have a curse on them the Ainsworths have a curse where they are but this is the richest family in england um they'll probably end up being my royalty in england like they're gonna be royalty the Ainsworth family um i'll probably end up moving them into the von haunt estate if i can i think i can i think i can i don't know we'll see i think i have a, a something that works there um, yes. So the Ainsworth family has this curse where the first wife always dies after a few pregnancies, after a few babies, after a few pregnancies. Um, this is, li it literally was something that was just happening in my game. And so then we made it into lore. Um, I'm not even joking. Like it happened, uh, two generations in a row. The wife died immediately. So now it's just a thing. Now it's just a thing that happened. <laughs> Why are they both back here? They're both in, like, the, the servants' quarters back here. I literally, this tree covers it, so I always forget there's a servants' quarter here. That's so funny. That's where the butler sleeps. Um, so, girl, we got, girl, we got a long way to go. We gotta get to the, uh, um, okay, this is, like, the children's, um, the children's room. We have, like, an older older sim suite and then here is the um the uh nursery okay come have your baby so um we'll <laughs> hi marissa you got something job related yay oh my gosh what is it you don't have to share it here if you want to just dm me you can job hunting is hard i always say to anyone who's doing it it's rough it's rough out here I'm so happy for you. Oh, and I want you to know that, like, a lot of times companies will, like, give you a computer to do their work if you don't have a adequate computer. Oh my goodness, cross point figures! Good luck! 
I'm so excited for you. The one, <laughs> the one I told you about, the application closes this week. So we'll see about if I get anything this week. So, okay, Mira, let's go. So basically what I'm saying is Mira's baby rolls is not going to be just a one. It's going to be harder, but I think we should decide on it. I think I'm just going to decide right now. Okay, before we do rolls though, Mira Ainsworth is having a girl. So this is our richest family in Britain. So they're probably going to have like traditionally British names. It's 1657. So think of names of like the monarchs and stuff like monarch names. Um, think of, uh, I don't know, like quintessentially British names for a little girl. Bro. <laughs> oh, seven, Miss Big. Oh, seven, seven. Thank you so much um, for getting that one. You can just go ahead and ban that person. I don't want your promotion. You can, I have an email for a reason for contact information. So, thank you. Thank you. You don't need to be in my Twitch chat. Putting me on the spot here. You wanna spam me, spam my email. Um, If we don't already have one, can we do a rose? Okay, we don't have a rose. Let me double check. We can have up to five name suggestions from chat and then we'll vote. Um, so if you don't, if you can't think of a name, don't worry about it. You, you can still vote. Um, let me. No Rose. We had a Rosamund, but she didn't survive. <laughs> so there's no Rose. Um, we do have a, oh. We have a French Charlotte who is of the mother i don't know i think we'll, we'll maybe we'll do another charlotte but not yet we'll do it later we'll do it we'll do a british charlotte okay elizabeth i think we have hold on let me see we have we've had elizabeth but i don't There are no Elizabeths alive. Okay, I will allow another Elizabeth. There's none alive and there's never been one in this family. So let's do, um, so we'll do no Charlotte. Sorry, we've ha we have another Charlotte that is alive. I think I just wanted a little bit of time to pass because we just made her. She's not a child, sadly, but she and she's in France. So we would just go wait a little time because I do love Charlotte. So we have Elizabeth, um, Rose Elizabeth, Amelia is the next one. No, Amelia. That's a great. We have a Margaret, and she is, she is the eldest daughter. We can't do Margaret. We we have a Margaret Ainsworth in this family, so she has this. She had this last name too. Um, so we'll do Rose, um, Elizabeth, Amelia. Um, we have an Alice. And she is alive, so we're not gonna do Alice. Um, okay, Laurel's my mom's name. And we don't have a Laurel. So, and uh, we don't have a Bella. Okay, so we'll do we'll do Rose, Elizabeth, Amelia, um, Alice, and Laurel. Those will be our five. Thank you for doing that full mods. Um yeah, we already have an Alice. Everest. Oh, that's such a pretty name. I don't know if I would ever give a girl that name, but I'm not saying no. Oh, yeah. Do not worry if you say a name that we already have a sim for. We have like a like a hundred sims alive currently. And it's kind of just like what I feel like at the time. Uh so sometimes I'll say something's okay when like an, I don't know. Like I'll I try and be consistent. We don't have an Agatha, so we can do an Agatha. Oh, I love that name. We'll do an Agatha next time. Yeah, you got it right. Laurel. Laurel was the choice. Laurel's my mom's name. We already put my grandma in this game. <laughs> like, I don't know where I want to put my mom in. 
but she's up there we got rose has so many uh votes so if you haven't voted yet go ahead and vote in chat um it's anonymous we don't know who you vote for no feelings hurt if your name doesn't get any votes i mean i feel like some of the people who <laughs> said names in chat didn't even vote for their own name so <laughs> I really like Rose and Amelia. I think those are really two strong choices. Amelia always reminds me of Princess Amelia of Genovia. <laughs> it's your middle name? Oh my goodness. I always think of Doctor Who when I think of Rose. Um, Sorry, my hair is being crazy today. It's true, I didn't book around it. Exactly, Kayla just said that. You know, you may suggest a name. I mean, it's suggesting a name, and then sometimes someone just has a good idea. And by the way, this girl does not know she's cursed, by the way. They didn't tell her. They didn't tell Mira she's cursed. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Literally, literally, my mod in chat, Mystic, is like... Um, uh, they're here she's here like every day and she's like i don't even know i don't even know you can look at my spreadsheet it's linked in discord but um and what i do is i just go to the name uh the tab with all of the sims listed out in it um sim by sim and i just f slot control f search and i'll see if the names came up when i <laughs> did elizabeth because i've had two sims named elizabeth already it just came up with like 20 results because i type in like um their, their, their name for other children and stuff like that so you know barty and lancelot and samson you know samson okay this is rose ainsworth everybody congratulations rose ainsworth okay here they are but you are new here i have a surprise for you not a good one um, unfortunately, it is 1657, and the infant mortality rate is pretty high, and so is the mortality rate for mothers, so we will be rolling for them, and like I said, usually mom rolls a 1, um, uh, uh, she rolls, sorry, usually mom rolls a d20, and 1 is her death roll. This person, however, is indeed, uh, cursed? Uh, so... She's gonna have a little bit higher stakes. Um, her death rolls um are going, and I know people gave her birth, or gave her extra rolls for uh, I think two people redeemed extra rolls for her for her children. She got like I think she got rolled a one, and then let me see. Mira has a total, yeah, she, I think she had a one, and then two people redeemed, um, baby rolls for her. Um, and I have noted that, um, so if she does die, um, this sim will remarry, and I will move those baby rolls over to the new wife. Mira's death <laughs> rolls are gonna be, um, odd numbers out of the d20. You can save her. You can save her this time. Death can save her. Um, but again, she gets one save. And every time she has a baby, she's going to have a death roll of odd numbers on the 20. So, we'll see if she gets an even number or she gets an odd number. Let's go. That's an even! Mira has made it so far! She's cursed, you guys. I told you. She's cursed. She's she is she is part of the Ainsworth curse. She is cursed. So she's safe for now. She's safe for now. Um and I will say, if she makes it through all of the baby rolls she has been given um thus far, I'm gonna say no more, no more giving her baby rolls. Three is her maximum. Um so don't give don't give her any more. I will I will ask you to give it to a different sim. Um, I will kill her she will die so but what we're gonna see she's gonna die early or not so we'll see miss mira i love her so much hey chaos Grimmie, welcome in welcome in so mira safe for now i love you baby okay her baby though miss rose also needs to roll 5 10 15 20 are rose's death rolls that's written into the game so let's see Miss Rose is safe. Congratulations, Miss Rose. 
Congratulations. I didn't think she would have any problems. Okay. Let's go ahead and go over to the spreadsheet, you guys. Spreadsheet time. Spreadsheet time. Oh, yeah. Spreadsheet time. Okay. You don't know. After we have a new baby, we have to go put them on our spreadsheet. So we have a couple. We have a lot of new families on this spreadsheet. So the numbers on the side are not accurate. There's a lot of spaces. Um. But we do have so many sims. We have 106 sims alive, now 107. Um, and 86 sims have deceased. Eventually, that will be flipped. Right now, we're at the moment where we have so many sims. Way more than we know what to do with. So, yeah. Um, so many sims. Okay, I just want to make sure that wasn't... Okay, right, let's see. Where is Miss Mira? Oh, I have this. You can see it, but I couldn't see it. Okay, Mira. We have Rose. Rose? Not Rose. Ainsworth. Um, daughter of Francis. I, I, and Mira. Um, first. She's the first daughter. Generation 5. She's female. And it is 1657. Just barely. It's Yep, 1657. Congratulations, Mira. Okay, we're going to put her on the timeline now. Scrolling all the way down. Scrolling all the way down. We've had... Okay, we had two babies um, on this flying day. And I'm going to put them together. We're going to put Mildred and Mira Ainsworth. Um, um, actually, oh, sorry, not Mira. Mildred and Rose. It's okay. I will just... I will look them up. Because I know our main household baby is going to be coming this Sunday. So I don't want to double up our main household with anybody else. But they both survived, which is going to be really interesting. Um, we'll come back and do her another role, her other role at the end of tomorrow. Okay, Mira with Rose Ainsworth. And then I believe I already took off, yeah, I already took off Mira's baby. So, we'll do that now. Now, I think we should get another person pregnant. I'm thinking it should be Georgiana. She has one baby roll left. So, I think that's where we're going to go next. Even though I think somebody else did get pregnant this fine day. But, it'll be good. Okay. Let's save and go to Manage Worlds. You're safe today, Mira, from the Ainsworth curse. But, I'm not kidding you. Both of my... um. Both of the uh, wives I have married into this household died, like, immediately after marrying into this household. So I've been actively playing with this household. This is, like, the third generation I have actively been playing with. So that's kind of cool. Um, I mean, it is generation five. So, like, I mean, my second generation married into the Ainsworth line. There are consequences to your actions. You are like Papa Yuck! Hi Yuck, how are you? How are you today? On this, this fine queer day. We are, um... We're killing sins. You didn't know I was streams? You didn't know I was streams? I, okay. Yuck. Literally, every single Momo mod has come in and said that. Can you just say ruin streams in your mod chat because this is the fourth time this has happened it was zag came in and, and like same message and i think it's really funny because for like two weeks straight bruin um bruin i'm bruin momo would call me streamer bruin and i think it's really funny that all of you guys have had the same reaction <laughs> but i like and to be fair like like, I don't expect you guys to, like, pay attention to absolutely everything. I just think it's really funny that specifically Momo... Mo <laughs> and I also, like, Momo streams at, like, the opposite time I do. I stream, like, on weekends mostly, and then I stream really late in the evening on weekdays after I work. And Momo stream streams in the morning on weekdays or, like, the early afternoon for East Coasters. So I, I I get it, but it's just really funny that it's specifically <laughs> a Momo. It's 
Wizards are so Zach. Two miles, two miles. There's literally um oh yeah, Prime came in, same reaction. How did I not know? Or do you barely get on this way? Yeah, yeah. And that's what I like. I, I understand you guys, like, when you have a streamer you mod for, you usually watch Twitch around the time your streamer is live because you're used to, like, making a little section in your schedule for that if you if you can or, like, thinking about it during that time. So I, I get it, but I just think it's so funny that, I don't know, you guys are all very similar and that's why I love you all, so... <laughs> Anyways, yeah, streamer brew in here. Streaming away, doing the stream things. So many people have come in and been like that. They're like, I literally just found you in my recommended tab. And I was like, oh. I'm not screaming loud enough about my streamer status. Oh yeah, Marissa. <laughs> We love to watch Momo while you work in the mornings. Me too. I mean, it's only I just I have a lot of meetings in the morning, so I can't always watch. I have a lot of morning meetings lately, so I can't always be there. But I do like I know, yeah, mod brain cell, which I think is really funny. <laughs> Momo mod share one brain cell. Oh my goodness, I love that. Yeah, we have one brain cell, so me and Marissa. We have the Simsy brain cell. I guess I have I guess now. I have mods to share part of my one brain cell. <laughs> I know. It, it's always, it, Jaden, it's always so weird for us when, when she's on vacation because it's like, like, I feel like we're, like, there's like, a, we always get like, a, like, really chatty when she's, her normal stream time is. <laughs> all the brewing mods oh my gosh marissa and the one brain cell <laughs> simmer mods that share like one single <laughs> it's like neurons of a brain cell <laughs> okay i swear did Is she pregnant i can't tell i feel like i never got her pregnant hold on let me just double check i'm gonna double check anora Watch her be like in labor right now. <laughs> this is um she's on here. I think that it's just gone really slow over the last couple days. And so uh like it it like it feels like these sims should have already given birth and they haven't. But let's double check. Maybe I'll, I'll get her and Georgiana pregnant. Uh -huh. Anora was also made by someone in chat. Ah. Who gave us Anora? Oh, I literally, I literally called it. I called it. I said, watch her be in labor. She's in labor. Interesting house you have here. Uh, interesting house you have here. Oh, gosh. It's so modern. Oh, ew, 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 ew. Ew, ew. So modern. There's no bassinet anywhere. Look, it's so cute on the outside, though. Look at this little house. It's so cute. I just need it to look good in the world. Okay, well, let's get you... Let's delete, like, half the things in this house. And then we'll get you a... I just don't know if I like this. Maybe I'm gonna redo this house. I don't like this that much. Like, why is there... Why is it, like, the door through the kids' room to the other room? Okay, anyways. Nobody asked for this. I'm just picky. Sorry, whoever made this. I probably got this off of someone. I'm, this is my fault for not double-checking. There's a computer here. I just am, like, cute on the outside, and then I just, like, ignore it, and then never come back. But yeah, the floor plan is a little odd. Uh look i okay but this is a sleigh this is a sleigh this idea sleigh i will say that um i will say that like why they could have just put a hallway here they could have just put a hallway here the kids room didn't need to 
But Penguin TV in the wall, though, I kind of like that. I just, you know, I say that, but I could have not built a better house. I will admit that. Like, I may be judgy, judgy, but I, I could not. very modern look this is my own fault okay let's just put <laughs> i'm like i just need like one room to like look okay 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 this is it this room will be fine let's get them a bed a lot of these households, I just close my eyes and go along with it. Yuck! Yuck! Everyone! Everyone says that to me! Literally, Everest, Everest literally thought... <laughs> you can't imagine in between, Candace, I'm like, I'm like five foot, so I'm not, I'm like the four feet. Um, liter literally, yeah, Emrys... Oh my goodness! You are like five You said it! I'm Maple, welcome in! <laughs> Maple, we're joking because like five Momo mods over like the last couple of weeks have come in being like, Bro, are you stream? Hey, yo, five foot gang. Yeah, me and Marissa, it's really funny. Like, we have so much in common. We're both five foot. And so every time we stand next to people, it's like a herd of short people. We always make people feel good. Momo mod rain. <laughs> um, oh, wait, I think these are broken. These are cute though. Oh my goodness. They're so cute. I, someone said they were broken, but it looks like they're okay. Hope they're not broken. Momo mods are here. Here to stand. Oh my goodness. I feel so blessed. Literally within hours of each other, Zag and Prime came in separately. Seeing me like on this in the Sims category, I'm get, assuming, like saying, Oh my god, bro, you stream like two weeks ago. It was so funny. It was they came in separately. I I forgot who came in first, but I asked whoever came in last, like, oh, did they tell you that I'm streaming? Like, is that how you found me alive? And they're like, no, I just found you on the Sims page. <laughs> but literally, Emrys once told me they um expected me to be like six foot. I like I think they said 5'10 was their guess. Like, completely serious. And that's, it's just really funny because I am a very short human. I am not very tall. There's this, <laughs> what, there's this point where Crub was um, streaming live from TwitchCon last year. And I, like, walk into the booth of sweaty gamer men um, with Crub, all around Crub. Because, of course, Crub has to have 50 billion people with him. It's just crap. And he, I'm like literally the same height as Crub sitting down. I was like, ah, uh, yes, Crub is also standing. We are both standing <laughs> with all these people behind us. <laughs> so, oh wait, I literally forgot the whole point of this was I was supposed to be putting down a bassinet. Anyways, yeah, that's my face. I really like this playlist. I really hope it's not copyrighted. This is a good one. It has like spooky secret garden vibes. So we'll just hope. They've been made of the stream. Okay, I know I was having her baby because I was like, she's been pregnant for a really long time and she hasn't given birth. It's a boy! <laughs> we have three babies born on this one day. So you have boy names for a Brit so this is another Ainsworth. So you know how we were just in that last family? This is that Sims twin brother and they don't get along at all. So we just had Rose and now we're having the, they were married the same day because they were both twins. We're having the twin brothers, um, baby. So you want some, there's a boy, it's, it's a boy names though. Boy names in chat, if you would like to name a boy. It's 1657. Um, and they're British. Haiti said Everest, Brooklyn, Linden. I like Everest. We're, we'll go with Everest, um, your first one. And if there's not any more, James. Have we had a James yet? I think 
Um, we haven't had a James, but I think I'm going to save James. Okay. I'm going to save James because I want this next baby in our main household to be named James. Trinity. So I will be taking that name suggestion, but not for this baby. Thomas! Oh my goodness. We had a Thomas way, way, way back. We had a Thomas was what was my gen, my gen 2 heir my jet so the founder's heir and he died a long time ago so yes i will i will accept thomas because i love that name theodore oh let's go with theodore i don't think no that was one of the ones we have voted on that i was so surprised nobody like voted for that i love that name um we had a benedict but they died as uh uh as a child we'll take it we'll take benedict they died a while ago um okay so we have everest thomas theodore abel i'll take abel we voted on abel before and benedict okay those are my five names everest thomas theodore abel benedict thank you so much mods for getting this together I know, Theodore is such a good name. I like Abel, too. Abel is a name I think Hades has suggested before. Hades is really good at names. Um, but I like Theodore. I like Benedict. Benedict Cumberbatch. I like talk Theodore up. I try and talk all the names up evenly, but sometimes I just get stuck on a name. Go ahead and vote in chat. Even if you, like, don't really want anyone to know you, you're a little lurker and you don't want to type you can vote nobody will know it was you nobody will see who voted for what we can't tell so if you're lurking and playing sims and don't want to be sucked into a conversation just go ahead and vote always result of bible names i know sorry that's what that's what i'm like i'm like look bible names but also like we'll take any we'll take any Theodore is such a good name. I love Theodore. I love Theodore. I think we have voted on Theo before, but not Theodore. Um, but I think I said that I would make it Theodore. But yeah. Excuse me. Pardon me. So if you look at my spreadsheet, which is in my Discord, and you're like trying to think of like names and stuff, if you want, you don't have to. You can just guess too, and I'll just tell you if it's been used or not. Um, I'm accepting names that, like, we can use names that of Sims that have been dead for a while, like Thomas, um, and Benedict are Sims that have been dead for at least like ten years. Sometimes it's like, oh, like a lot of people were saying Vivian, and like I'm like it's too soon. I miss her. She was like a Sim I played with so much. Vivian was Thomas's uh, wife. So I guess you can suggest Vivian now because I said okay for Thomas, even though she outlived him by like 20 years. But it's, sometimes it's like, oh, I just have an attachment. Okay, Theodore has a part. Theodore. Okay, here comes the hard part, y'all. Um, if you're new here, um, you're going to witness um, some tough times. This is Nora. And she is the mother, and um, infant mortality rates are high. It's 1657. Um, so we're going to go and roll for Miss Ma'am here um, to see if she lives or she dies. Luckily, out of the D20, she will only die if she gets a 1. So pretty, pretty good chances. 15. Pretty good. Okay, though. For this baby, though, the baby will die if it gets a ten, 5, 10, 15, 20. So it better not get a 15. Come on. Come on. 14. That is state. Congratulations, Theodore. You are now birthed. You've been birthed. And you are now in this world. And now I have to put you on the spreadsheet and find room for you. Because, oh my gosh, we have so many babies. I thought one of them would die. <sighs> I guess not. Okay. Spreadsheet time. Spreadsheet time. Um, this is our spreadsheet. This is how I... This is this page I searched to see if we've had babies. So I just do control F and I search through it. Um, and it will tell me how many hits there are for a name. And then I can look through and see how long it's been um, for the name. And Nora is this green down here. So we have Theodore. 
Ainsworth. Um, son of Florentine is his name. <laughs> and Nora. Um, uh, I'm going to be the heir of this family. Generation 5. Male. 1657, technically. Still 1657. We're like right there. Oh my gosh. Ugh. And Theo. Mildred, Rose, and Theo. Mildred, Rose, and Theo. Okay, I'll make sure that they don't all get pregnant on the same day. <laughs> now. I think what happened was um when so it so we had like time had paused a really long time when we but and we had like three streams i think where we had um we dealt with all of like florentine stuff we dealt with his marriage remember there was like the fight between the brothers and then the next stream we went ahead and we made um so we made francis the second's wife mira and then we did all that and then we took a and then we had a break and then next stream we did florentine so i think they must have ended up on the same day so i'm gonna sneeze <laughs> sorry that was a lot louder than i thought it was gonna be okay icky at least you guys aren't in the same room as i am because i just sneezed all over my hand <laughs> okay this is <laughs> theodore Ainsworth, and then uh okay and then Nora is no longer pregnant. She has quite a few pregnancy tries. Um, how do I feel? Lots to get through. This is how many Sims we have who have pregnancy tries who need to get pregnant. Like, quite a lot. We do have four worlds now, though. So, it is what it is. Um, and we're going to go get someone pregnant right now. We're going to go get Georgiana pregnant. That's bananas. Bless you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So the spreadsheet, it's it's a uh, it's a lot. Here, look, while we load in, let me show you. Um, yeah, this is the entire timeline. I kind of did just. So usually they have their matching color to like their info sheet and their family sheet and their marriage and baby sheet. I'm just clicking to Georgiana. Don't worry. Georgiana Farnsworth. She's American. You can't tell. Um. So, yeah, this green line here is my main family, but we have so many Sims that, look, we have, like, I already have another shade of green, having babies actively. So our main family, so, like, we have, that means that we, we have, like, 12 families right now. Oh, and these tan families are our brand new families that we added in. I didn't want to make them gray because I didn't like the way the gray looked on the spreadsheet. It looked sad. So I made them like shades of brown because we're not actively using that in our color cycle, like as you can see here. Um, and they are not officially in our family. Um, so we only put Sims that have married into our families on the spreadsheet or have somehow vowed into the family. Like, like um, okay, I guess Jacques is now married in. Jacques is a vampire though. He uh, is the partner of Barty Bartholomew right here. It was the only sim in all caps. They're vampires. They're vampires. So um, that's our supernatural household. And so we thought as they adopt supernatural, um, that will officially be kind of like permanent in our gameplay. Um, we, we have a ton of supernaturals that aren't on the spreadsheet. But as we kind of like pull more in, I think we'll um, put them under that family and, and they're gonna be like the white family that is kind of like we don't really have to roll for their birthdays because they're gonna be alive a while um but their actual household has like eight people in it <laughs> there's quite a few okay georgiana so this is the farnsworth family they live with uh edmund her poor uncle edmund he had five kids they all died and then his wife died pretty early um so they just don't have a he didn't he kind of like he was lonely and they rolled like a one um so they ended up living with their uncle to raise their family um in the family home so he's like i have room they can raise the family in my house um poor uncle edmund poor uncle edmund anyways he was alone so 
they ended up moving in here. Because there's not a lot of space in this world anymore. And this is Jonah. Jonah was like a British soldier. And then he moved to America to escape. Uh... So, okay, we're gonna look and see if she's actually pregnant. I don't wanna know what with. I'm just gonna like make sure she's actually pregnant. Okay, okay. I, I, I didn't see it. I, I did move my hand a little bit on accident, but I didn't take it in. I didn't see what it was. So, don't tell me. I don't wanna know if it's a male, female, twins. I don't wanna know. It's, pro it's probably just like, you know, one twin, but. I don't wanna know. No spoilies, no spoilies. Anyways, so this is the this is Barty's hustle. That's what I'm talking about. I'm like, okay. So some of these sims are on my spreadsheet. Like this one is from one of my families. This one's from one of my families. Um, but uh, these these sims, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one are from. Um, our friend Hades, and then this one, Suzanne, and this one, Sybil, are from, um, my mod C. It's a baby! I don't believe you. What if it's a demon? What if it's a demon? What if it's a demon? That bit never gets old. That bit never gets old. This is one of the demons that is officially now on my spreadsheet. Um, and her husband, Philip the Troutman. The story is that he summoned her because he was into the assault he everyone in his family has died this is the orphanage by the way brewster orphanage and these are my lesbians who run the orphanage um and so they're kind of just here while there's no one at the orphan oh you know what we said after measles measles are like so we had a measles epidemic and this is like the last day we're playing through the measles epidemic so we said that after the measles epidemic we would put a bunch of children in the orphanage to grow up and then marry into these families that are having kids um okay guys if you missed it shaquille o'neal did die shaquille o'neal died i'm so sorry it's just what happened but i don't think there's like a lot of i guess there's one girl there she's probably gonna marry the last suitor in this household but tara is not this is our ace buddies, these two. But Batera is just hanging out here. He, he hasn't married, so he's probably gonna marry somebody. Um, and, the, and then Hester and Herbert. Or, we don't know, maybe they're gonna marry. We have a couple teens. No, we have two more teens here too. Teen girl, teen girl, teen girl. So maybe we'll make some teen boys for the orphanage. Some teen boy orphans. Four orphans. <laughs> Should we make someone named... No, I can't. I can't make that joke. And it's too early. I'm not going to open that can of worms. I'm not going to say... I was... Okay. Fine. I was like, should we make Alexander Hamilton? But I won't. I don't want to make real people. I was like, oh yeah, the character from the famous musical. Oh yeah, he was a real person. Never mind. I don't want to make him. Funny thoughts. I know you're all thinking it. Lursh. Have a good Lursh, Jaden. <laughs> okay. Let's make some orphans. Four orphans. How about you? Yorba Bay. Yorba Bay, Peyton. Yorba Bay. Okay. Let's go ahead. And then just put some sims in. We'll just like fill up the rest of the household with some orphans and then we'll move some in too. Cute. Your team. Honestly, we can we can do it. We can dig it. Hold on. Let me work my magic, y'all. Let me work my magic. No, I don't like those presets. I don't like those presets. I don't like them. Okay. I 
like this one. No, 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 no. I got that chin. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Wait a second. That's my chin. What's my chin on this man? Oh my goodness, have fun, Mikra. You're so welcome. A big old nose. We love a big old nose here. I love these eyes. They're so cute. Why not? Big old eyes. I want some, yes. I'm like, I want some, like, you know. We don't have a lot of, the, like, really dark haired sips. I want a dark, like, a dark dark brown dark dark brown we have like a lot of medium light browns and then we have we used to have a lot of redheads but now we mainly have like brown haired sims i want like a dark yeah yeah, yeah. Dark, dark. cute cute okay orphan orphan i got the mod back i got the mod i remembered right before the stream to put it back in my game the four the four columns or Collins cast. Okay. Orphans, what are you wearing? Mm. What are you wearing, my dear orphans? Okay, I'm this one. Peasant. His little peasant fit. The time frame of the Jersey Devil would have would have not worked, though they came about in the 1900s. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, if they were in New Jersey. Oh, sorry, I missed what you said. If you were in New Jersey, they could have been true jersey devil was the offspring or human well we're saying this is boston for like the sake of like whatever but it's really like you know the general east coast so eventually we're going to vagify this stuff so they could you know we could do a jersey devil you know, you'd have like no not these <laughs> these <laughs> looking for these what are those Sorry, I had to. Okay. Formal. My name is. Hmm. This is his finest wear. They're orphans, you gotta remember. Um, oh no, this one. I love putting like my porcelains in like a good button down. Even though I don't know if they'd have oh these are like different kind of buttons. I think these are going to be good. Hmm. I love these new pants. They don't quite look right for this era, but I do like them. Quite a bit. Okay, shoes. Where are the short ones? Do some like these, maybe? Don't, maybe not exactly the same color. Oh, maybe just for his formal, he can like afford a hat. I don't know. I don't know if he would have been able to. You know what? I love a hat. I love a good hat. Oh, I was so excited about this hat. I saw this one, I was like, oh my god. It's gonna be so good. I love this game. Having your sim self planting crops and then the Korean lot you're working on will be done. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. Where is my... It's formal. Oh my god, I'm like staring. You guys probably are like, what, what did... The brew stopped computing. Yeah, I did. I'm looking for the little pilgrim hat. And I just like lost all my words in like three seconds. So Let's do that. Um Sorry, I'm, I'm like, I was looking for a new playlist for a second, but I forgot. I saved a bunch. 
Um. Give them an aggregate. Oh my god, Hades, you're such a slay. That's so cool. I got so burnt out last stream. I was like, I had just done so much research. And also, like, to be fair, I have been up for so long <laughs> that day. <laughs> so. But I was like, I can't do any more research. I'm done. <laughs> I, like, tapped out. I was like, nope, this is enough for me. I do like this. I do like this, but I don't know if you'd wear it. I think maybe this one. And... Maybe some of these pants? Some of these? Maybe some of these? Okay, nightwear. Oh, beautiful. Everyone wears star glasses to bed in 1657. That's so right. Oh my god, I can't believe how right you are. Them star glasses. Nike to bed. Okay. Party wear. This one. And... Or maybe... This one. Good old vest. Some vestige. Some vestige. <laughs> no need to bring yourself on something. Like yeah, yeah. I was like, you know, well, we can fix things next time. That was literally the point. We can fix things another time. I like these glasses on you. I'm so sorry. I do have to remove them. Remove them. Remove them. So you're just coming in. We're making some orphans for our orphanage. We have another family that currently lives here. But our orphanage is lacking orphans. So. Huzzah. We have or or orphans. Orphans. We huzzah. We have orphans now. Um, this is our first orphan. He does not look like a child. I am very well aware of that. I am making him with the intention of him marrying one of the many teen girls in this current save. Um. There we go. There we go. Alright, what's his name? What's his name? Jansen. Jacobs. Jacobs. Okay, we could, we could be Jacobs. That sounds right. Making some orphans. <laughs> We're making some similar to orphans. Jacobs. Ian Jacobs. Jack. We could do Jack. We could do Ian for someone else. Jack Jacobs. Jack Jacobs. I kind of like that. Jack Jacobs. Jack Jacobs. I like Jack Jacobs. Okay, let's do. Oh, let's make Jack Jacobs. See, this is the thing is, I'm like, do I give them siblings or not? Because then I have a problem down the line. If I make all my spouses have like too many relationships, then I have to like figure out every time I have a sim marry a sim into in like later on the line into another family. I'm like, okay. How closely related <laughs> is this sim? Does this sim have relatives in the family line? So. No, we're just gonna make them. Okay. Okay, we're gonna work. Ooh, beautiful. Oh my god. How do I... I don't like your facial hair. Wait, no, I want to change it. Get rid of your... Oh. <laughs> the reaction of... Oh. <laughs> Let's see, what can we get you? Look. 
I will use this okay repair eventually. I will use it. I don't think I've had anyone use this one. I will turn this sim into a pretty boy. Just watch me. Mark my words. Wait. Where'd it go? <laughs> Would someone... I like this one. I don't know if I like the, the soul patch on you though. Maybe we'll just give you the, the the objectively most attractive one. Okay. Let me Okay, well, let's try. Okay, my favorite one on men is usually the hazel skin. Okay, I told you I'd make him into a pretty boy. I mean, he was gorgeous himself, but. Okay, this one isn't very good for your eye shape. That one's not good for your eye shape. That one's cute. I like this one. Okay, but I do. And then I sometimes I use the Miko overlay. Hold on, maybe we could do that and then Miko. Okay, this is better. I like this. I want to give him when you have a chance to make sims and you're like okay what traits am i missing but i don't see much of my family line oh wait i want to give you like hazel like green hazel we do have those color eyes wait i gave him like a so like a okay maybe he can have like the light okay Trying to think. Will he do ash lashes sometimes? Um. Sometimes the lashes look good on Sims with this eye shape. The male, I say male, male Sims. They look really good. If you just get them just like simple enough. Is it this one? Yes! Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Son of an orphan. Sorry, I can't. I, I don't even know the song. I just know that line. Wait, no. He's not the son of son of a whore. That's what it is. He's not the- He's the orphan. He's the orphan. <laughs> son of shoes. You don't know you're not a teen. Now you're a teen. I made him. I do like this hairstyle, but after making him, now I want him to have a different hairstyle. You know, sometimes it's just that vibe where you're like, you make this and then you're like, wait a minute. As they're starting, just you know. <gasps> Wait, yeah, we're having this here. I haven't gotten to use this horse ranch here yet, or this one. Oh, I do like. Oh, that one is so cute. Wait. He doesn't really. Okay, 
it's gonna be like bad this hairstyle reminds me of lucas's hairstyle from stranger things the sim doesn't really look like lucas but the hairstyle and that's why i'm like wait a minute it's lucas's hairstyle from season four <laughs> he has to keep it now i love that <laughs> See, my brain is like everything relates back to Stranger Things. Oh my god, wait, why does he have this blush on? Cute, but not. Okay, you could have a little. I'll give you a little blush. I'll give you like a better one though. Could be like a. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna let this hear me out. There we go, there we go. A little blush. He likes a little blush for his formal wear. I know, right? It's, this looks just like, I just realized that when I put it on him, I was like, wait, that looks like Lucas's hair from Strange Things. Stranger Things is my, I like to talk about books, and then Stranger Things is like my second favorite subject, you know, so. Ooh, I love this print. I'm like in love with the sim it takes one thing related to stranger things and then i'm like this is my favorite sim i've ever made <laughs> mm. lucas is one of my favorite characters i love him so much he's just so sweet i just i just i re i think i relate to him a lot with um like like his like whole like storyline with max and then we need a Stranger Things book. There are! There is! Lucas has a book! They make Stranger Things books. There's actually, there was a book recommended to me in my bookshop that was like, a book that was a lot like Stranger Things. But yeah, they make Stranger Things books. They make like extra stories in like book form about Stranger Things. I haven't read them because I'm lame, but they are They are there. They, they have capitalized on that market. They're kind of like, I they think they're kind of like geared towards younger audiences the books are but i mean it's like a horror show so it can't be that young and then and then also there's a book i forgot what it's called it's like very similar to stranger things and it was recommended to me in my bookstore i just don't remember what it was called though i'm sorry I don't remember anything about it. <laughs> I remember the cover. It was like this blue cover, and it was it was like a mid, I think it was like middle grade. It was a middle grade book, and it was supposed to be like Stranger Things. It's about kids like fighting a monster, and they're they're. Your, your daughter has a couple of Stranger Things graphic novels. Interesting. Yeah, I definitely know. Netflix makes a ton of stuff. They definitely do have books um i'm obsessed with these pants i have to give everyone these pants now okay night time mm -hmm. i'll wear the ratty shirt and then the same box So I'm not using these because they're broken, just so everyone knows. They're broken. This blush on him. Oh no. No, give my sims all the shoulder width they can withstand, please. All of the shoulder widths, please. Oh my goodness! You, I like Papa! But it's me, thank you so much for that follow. If you didn't know, I was I like Stranger Things the audio that just played Stranger Things. It's a dizzy now. <laughs> if you weren't well aware. Oh my gosh. In gray. Why does he still look like. Like he's slaying in this outfit? <laughs> I don't know if I like the gray. I like. I wanted this. You know what? Maybe we'll go for like a brown. 
Ah, uh, yes, my chat with all of my Stranger Things emotes. <laughs> No, uh, I guess I can just tell you. He really loves this blush. Gesture formal. He can't afford blush on any other day. Um. All he wants to do is find a rich girl who can afford him to wear makeup. Someone, please, invest for this poor man to have makeup. Not the socks with sandals. Never mind. You're banned. You're banned. Actually, I'm gonna give him a full body outfit. You can have this full body outfit. Because I'm too lazy. Pants are getting annoying. Very similar. And the uh, gold leather. Speaking of this one, it makes everyone look hot. This outfit just makes everyone look really beefy, and I love it for that. Okay, you can have a hat. The cold leather. I have some old and far future hats in here. I am very well aware. I cannot use all these hats currently. There's only one. They can use the pilgrim hat though in this world. Pilgrim hat. Okay, what's his name you guys? Ooh. He just wants to be blushy. Little. It's not little. Chalvoy. Consman. Butcher. I like that. Butcher is his last name. But he's Sweetheart, he's not a butcher. <laughs> he loves cats. I don't think you're a free guy. Maybe he loves cats. Um, and he's clumsy. And he loves animals. Okay. What's his first name? No. Neil. Neil Butcher? Neil Butcher. I'll take Neil Butcher. Okay, uh... It won't let me add any more sims, I don't think. But they... Oh, she's pregnant. I forgot. Okay, we made two, we made two orphans. Two orphans! We'll make more. We'll fill it up more once um, the family moves out. Eventually, Peyton and uh, the other sim will move out. Uh, and we'll probably be able to put... We'll just, like, make sims and move them in, too. Yay! So, we have a couple families that have teenage daughters, so we'll just be able to pull from them. We need it. Okay. Let's go back home. Right in time, guys! We're so close to this brand new year. So exciting! He just wants to be a blushy boy. Ugh! Stretch! Don't forget to stretch. It's been two hours. You deserve a stretch. Your body deserves a stretch. You're so ready to read. I know. I've been like doing every possible thing besides being close to it. I think we're like two hours away from the new year. Get them ready. Once we load in, we're going to scurry on past this threshold. Let me see. Let me show you. I'm gonna change the music real quick. Um, show it to me. Speed it up. I forgot she hasn't given birth yet. Okay, it's Saturday. Let's go. Go to sleep. <laughs> go to bed, horsey. Alright, guys. Happy New Year! 
happy new year everybody it is now 1658 congratulations it is now sunday 1658 let me change it if you so would like to participate in this new year we have a happy new year um point redemption you can redeem um with chaos points you see the little sim mouth you click on that and then the very first one for 100 points is happy new year you don't have to you can also use the emote we have that my mod danny has for you it's like a bit emote i believe it's a thousand bits you have to give total to get it um eventually it'll be a follower emote um oh look mr has it too awesome <laughs> slay 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 thank you so much okay with the new year comes pregnancy baby hopefully not death you she just made it through oh my goodness you are like papa alien prod thank you so much for that follow your name is amazing i'm sorry your name is amazing um go ahead go ahead have your baby she better not die here she literally made it through every single day of the measles and had no issues uh, if she dies now i'm going to lose it okay let's see is it a boy or girl i don't know i'm gonna name this sim by the way just so everyone knows i'm going to decide the name on our main hustle it's a girl okay it's a girl okay i have i have choice you can you can suggest names but i'm not gonna we're not gonna vote in chat um and don't feel bad if i don't use your name um but I will ultimately pick the name for this one. Okay, uh, I had boy names in mind, but I did not think about girl names. Okay, who were... Um... I'm, like, looking up some names. Ooh, I don't know if we've had... A Catherine yet. Catherine or um um Anne. We haven't had Anne in a while. Um thinking about those. Let me look. Who else? Who else? I can't think of any Cherish as a female British name. Oh, yeah! I was also gonna think about doing the... This isn't British, but I was thinking about doing, like, the Puritan names. Like, the, the Puritan names. I was also thinking about that. How old... I was thinking maybe to wait a generation. Maybe I will. Maybe that, like, a Puritan name is the way to go. Think thinking about waiting one more generation, though, to do them. Hmm. So, like, during the witch trials, all our, like, young ladies are named, like, Puritan names and stuff. Hmm. Henrietta. Ooh. That's a French name, though. Hmm. I do like that idea a lot. Ooh, we haven't had a Sophia in a while, too. Sorry, I'm, like, looking down, um, monarchs. Um. My goodness. I'm, like, looking at their wives' names, too. Oh my goodness. Queen Mary the second. They have a Mary quite recently. Has to feel right though. You know, this is gonna be my this is gonna be my girl, hopefully. Um could do like an Anna. Okay, let me I don't know. 
Let me look. Okay, it's 1658. That means in Elizabeth, Victoria, and Mary. Yeah, thank you. That, uh, Victoria is what I was thinking about. Um, so this is America. So we don't necessarily have to, but like people still, I like did a lot of research on naming conventions. Like people still name them after the monarchs. Prudence is a good one. I think we might have named. Did we name someone Prudence already? No, we did talk about Prudence though. So um I'm trying to think so it's currently 1658 these kids will be adults like they'll be like they'll be like in their 30s during the witch trial they'll be having their own babies i like that let's go with let's go with like a let's go with let's go with those kinds of names we'll do it um Let's see. Virtue names. That's what they're called. Virtue names. Um, Constance. That's what I wanted. I like your guys' suggestions. We will do them. But I wanted Constance. I just couldn't think of it. Okay, we're going to go with Constance. For our virtue names. Not that our household's that religious, but, you know, we're setting up the tone. We're setting up the vibes. Welcome in, Rebecca, by the way. Okay, here comes the uh, hard part, the infant on the ground. Um, we get to, oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Oopsies. We get to roll for our baby and our mom to see if they live or die because child mortality rates are pretty high at this point. Let's go ahead and roll for them. So mom always comes first. Luckily, she only dies if she rolls a one. So two that was too close for comfort game you can't do this to me baby dies if it gets a 5 10 15 20. come on yes baby yes 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 it took us so long to get these sims pregnant so as you can imagine it uh, was quite a headache okay let's make up this the switching i'm so excited i'm so excited Always makes you think of the Monster House movie. Constance is a classic version name. Yeah, I think so. You gasped. I know, I did too. I was like, that's so close. Okay, as you can see, we did have a kid named Rosamund, but she died, so it doesn't matter. She doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. We have Joseph II, Constance, Rooster, daughter. This is our main household. I don't know, Joseph. Uh, heir first. Daughter. Generation. Five. Female. 1658. First baby of 1658, you guys. Okay, and we're gonna make sure that's not bolded. Timeline. Timeline. I scrolled way down on this. Oh gosh, you guys, we're so close to um but now we have to check up on all three of these babies to see if they survive again <laughs> oh my god constance and we're gonna take off Heidi's thing. Oh, but I forgot to put on. I think Georgiana's now pregnant. <laughs> I guess Chastity needs to get her pregnancy into. I said Georgiana was next. Chastity's next after her. Um, and then Mercy. Oh, Mercy and then Chastity, I guess. Georgiana's on her last baby. That's why I'm like trying to get some of these Sims like off this like pregnancy list. So I like gave them ranks of like where I should go. So I already debated it. Yay, we have a new baby! Alright, go back to bed. This was this was a good day. Or not. Put the baby to sleep. I can't take it. 
No, go to bed. Why does my horse keep coming into my house? <laughs> I'm gonna lock the horse out. It was funny, but now it's like, no, stop coming in. No, you can't come in my house anymore. <laughs> it, it was funny, but now it's like annoying. Let Joseph go to sleep on his own. Try to go night night. Yeah, I know you're stinky, but it's okay. Repair. Oh, he wet himself. It's okay, repair. Can you bottle feed? Because I just am like, you're already awake. You could give the house a mini foundation to put the horse in. Oh, that's a good idea. I just locked the horse out. I just locked the horse out. Okay, well, I guess we have no options. This baby will not. <laughs> it's summer, guys. Can, ugh, where is the... Change diaper. Okay, that's all I wanted. I wanted attention. Okay, you, finally! Your dad's taking a bath! You can't take a house! Locking them out will not stop them. Trust me. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll make sure I'll do a foundation set. Oh my god. And the problem is, is that I have a barn. No, how do I make it just... Is it gonna... It, oh, stop it. This game better stop it. I swear if it crashes, I will cry. I will just cry. It's not responding, but it's not... And luckily it's not responding. When it's not responding, it usually means it will, like, load back. Saving um it'll load back but sometimes it'll just like freeze and then like nothing will happen the house can be on the summer foundation okay i'm just not very good at building so sometimes i don't know how to make things like not do it i think it can do like okay this is good, right? This won't... Okay, yeah, this is just like a one-step foundation. Okay, we're good. What's wrong with you? Why are you so upset? You're hungry, you're dirty, and you're tired. Well, you're not that tired. You just, you slept through the night. You're okay, you slept through the night. Okay, but we can, we can at least... Um, I don't know how these cats are alive. We we don't even ever interact with them. We don't. They just they stare at this. They run around, and we the will stay full. Um, I literally I don't know. Peyton has gone into labor! Oh my gosh, you boys. Okay, we'll go see Peyton. Now I want to be in my main household that we have two babies. Okay, I hear you. We're gonna go to Peyton. Peyton's literally in that household we just were making sims in, and I was like, oh, she must be pregnant. That's why I can't, that's why there's seven sims and I can't make another one. Yeah, she's pregnant. She's pregnant, guys! Turns out she's pregnant. 
I think they've lived there long enough that we could probably move them out after this baby. I don't know where to, though. I don't know where they live. Here? Well, why don't we move them out to the docks, you know? Or she could move back to the medieval village. Maybe they can move back to the medieval village. Because that's where they originally lived before they moved into the Adcock residence. The, the main village. It's a, vo a boy you vote Dracula. Okay. <laughs> we'll go see. We'll go see. Um. I don't know if I can... Can I just... Hold on. Even though she's in labor, is this gonna mess things up if I go... And I move current and if I like move them out into a different We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully this won't mess it up. Uh create a new household. We're gonna move you and you out. I'm just worried like I'm just like, what if it's twins? Like what if it is twins? Oh my gosh, she's a trollman now. Um, she's moving. I think they're gonna move back to the house she originally was living in. Unfurnished. Oops, I messed up when I moved them out. Then it's okay. Let's go see them. Hey, crows, how are you today? We're about to have a deep baby. We're so excited. We love demon babies here. Mm. If you're new here and you didn't know, Peyton's a demon. He knows she's a demon. Like, I'd say like relatively knows because he did meet her because he summoned her. Um, but she was already on Earth. I think he doesn't quite understand how demons work. Um, but Hades said, this is Hades' son, Peyton. Hades said that Peyton is She's family oriented, first of all, um, and she falls really easy and fast. So it kind of makes sense that she would fall for a human um, in her household. Okay, so which house should be theirs? Maybe the big one. They move back into this big one right here. Then, yep, there's nothing in this house because I, because <laughs> uh, I accidentally deleted everything in it. It's okay. It'll be fine. And uh, maybe we'll redownload the lot. Okay, why don't we do that? We could do that, yeah. I don't know how good the lots were. Wait, hold on. Grab me my library. Wait, what, what was it called? I forgot what it was called. Medieval Village. Okay. It's gotta be in my library. I'm really quick. Damn it. Get this one, and then this one. <laughs> Demons don't need furniture. I know, right? Luckily, uh, this should be in my library. It's called Medieval, Small Medieval Village. No, not this one. It's just regular Medieval Village. This one? Uh. I think it's this one. This looks like it. Look at that arch. I think I just cut it off. Oh, was it cut off? Oh, no. Never mind. I think we're just not going to redo that because I think I did a lot of work on this one to make it look okay. Um, so we're just, we're just going to get a bath. They move home the first You know, they're orphans. You know, it makes sense. This is the abandoned family home that the demons once lived in and then they moved into town. Okay, have a baby. So, because she's a demon, she will not roll um, the pregnancy roll. Um, and we, so the baby will never be a full demon. We decided that just for now, the, the baby's never going to be a full demon. This is how our lore is going to work. Um, so she's not going to roll, but we will flip a coin to see if it's a half demon or not. Um, 
I don't know. It's a boy. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna name the baby first. It's a boy. Hades said they wanted the boy to be named Dracula. Is there any other boy name suggestions? You can go silly with this one. You can go vampiric. You can go demon lore. We had a Lilith. Lilith did die because Lilith was a human. Um, so we have one Dracula. Anything else? Damien from Marissa. Frankenstein from Sion. I'll, I'll, I'll take them all. Lucifer. I'll take it. <laughs> That's four. One more. She so she need to refurnish it so you can cheat some money really high and cut them. Oh yeah, I'll probably redecorate Hades. Crowley. Okay, there we go. We'll do those five. We'll do we'll do Dracula, Frankenstein, Lucifer, Damien Crowley. Dracula. Mod beat me. Mod beat me. Okay. Go ahead. Vote in chat. What names you like? What names you want this? Maybe possibly demon boy to be named. <laughs> um. <laughs> Kyra and Lucifer have regular business meetings. Okay, it's pretty tight. Okay, Lucifer so far is winning. But what if Lucifer ends up being a human, you guys? We're gonna flip a coin to see. Okay, Crowley is winning. Okay, no, they're tied. They're tied. Lucifer and Crowley are tied. So if you're lurking and you have opinions, go ahead and vote in chat. We can't tell who votes what. We won't call you out because we can't. Um but uh everyone who stops in gets an opinion so okay it looks like crowley's winning <laughs> why well, like lucifer i do like crowley though i am will gladly name this baby crowley it'll be really funny i think it's funny because i feel like isn't crowley like i feel like crowley's a last name right isn't it his last name or is that his first name i don't care i'm gonna know his first name Yay, Supernatural Family, <laughs> nice. Look. Oh my gosh. It's close, you guys! Is it, oh, Crowley or Crowley? Oh. What do you mean, Reggie? I think it's Crowley with an E. I'll spell it with an E. Even though I think that's what Reggie meant. I'm really bad at spelling, so I'm just gonna... Reggie can... So I think it's with an E, they said. Crows. Crows in chat being like, um, I think it's Crowley, not Crowley. I mean, I could name it after Crow. I meant it with an E. Don't worry, Reggie. I'm the same way. I'm the same way. I just wanted to make sure. Crowley won. Alistair Crowley. Oh, yeah. But we like Crowley. It's fine. It's a reference. We can have a baby named Alistair and Crowley. I'll just be like, yeah, my chat watches a lot of Supernatural. <laughs> okay. So, we're gonna flip a coin. Um, We're gonna flip a coin. Here's our coin. Right below me. It's below me. Okay, we'll, we'll move it here. We'll move it here. Um, our coin. Oh no, go away. So I believe heads is human, tails is half demon, half human. So that's usually what we do. All right, guys, let's go. Tails! Oh my gosh! Okay, this name is gonna be a half human, half demon. Um, I didn't really think any further than that. I think we thought of things originally, and it's just been too long. I know that the the half demon, um, okay, I think this is what will happen is it, it has a less likely chance of dying, but it still has a human lifespan. How about that? Do you guys want to just, like, cut the rolls in half, or what do you guys want to do? What do you think is fair? 
I think we're gonna do a human lifespan because that's the whole point is that they're not gonna be alive forever I'm not gonna have to find ways to kill them off that's magic right so that's why I wanted half half um cut rolls in half okay rolls in half would make sense okay we have to decide ahead of time what rolls we're cutting and we're obviously not gonna have many kids with this human lifespans once they die they turn into full demons oh well then we'll just say they go to the underworld and maybe we'll have a little reference maybe we'll like upload their young adult selves to the the gallery you know and then maybe we can pop them back in in 1980 or something <laughs> i don't know 510 cut cut 510 or just keep 510 baby rolls are 510 15 20 so everyone knows um Okay, maybe we'll just keep, maybe we'll keep like 10, 20. How about that? Cut 515. Just 10, 20. Easy to remember. No fives, just tens. Um, and then we'll just, we'll like cut, we'll just like, um, we'll cut like when there's three numbers, we'll cut two instead of one. Um, we'll be more fair, but when they're even, we'll just do half. Because the point is, is that they're supposed to live a lot easier. Easy, easy, easier, 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 easier. So. Oh my gosh, thank God! <laughs> Five fives, oh my gosh! This is why I was like, we have to set the precedent before we roll. Because I am someone who's going to change the rules after. This baby is safe. Any other baby would be dead. Would be like dead, dead. Um, all hail Crowley, baby Crowley. Baby Crowley has survived. Um, and we'll just have to make sure we mark this baby as a supernatural somehow. I think in the, the, I have a little section for titles here. I'll show you. I think we'll probably just put if they're a supernatural or not. There are oh my goodness. You are like Papa. Llama Llama YouTube. Thank you so much for that follow i appreciate it guys we're getting so close to a thousand followers crazy crazy times okay all right right here we can't see it i can see it okay um yeah 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 we'll just say we'll just say like ah, there we go <laughs> Crowley troutman i like that their name is still troutman Sun up. Hello. Aye, aye. Yeah. Eat it. Eat it. And I gotta get their air. Five. Male. Sixteen. Fifty-eight. Um, we'll put instead of there, we'll put half. Two right there where the mom is put. Maybe we should put the that in like the saved area. What was this originally? This is just the oh, this is the this is was originally the life stage category. You can see where I just gave up on it. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna update that. I don't use it. <laughs> I don't use it. I have too many Sims to update their life stages every time they have a birthday. Um. Hi, welcome in! Right now we're updating our spreadsheet for a little baby we just had. They're a half demon. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. We love half demons. Um, okay, that means Constance is gonna forever share a birthday with this half demon. Kinda dig it though. Oh my gosh, Count Constance and Crowley. Uh uh, I kinda like it. Maybe if everyone dies um around them all push one of their birthdays forward or backwards so if some look there's <laughs> we've had a lot of birthdays guys uh, we'll slow down on having the babies i just am so eager you know and the point is is that later on when you get later on the game like it's kind of like oh not everyone can have their babies so put death rolls on the sheet i do have them on the sheet um i think in in this tab. Oh, my old sim decks, I put them here. I just never look at them there. 
I just always forget. Um, unless you mean like the number they get. I personally, I would like less amount of spreadsheet fixing because I always forget to do little things. But do I have them for the demon babies? So that we remember the rules. Oh, good idea. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I put them in. Here, let me update this sheet before I forget. Um, good. At, yeah, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Where is right here? Bradley Troutman. Just gotta. Oh no. Ta-da! Okay, I think I have more extra rules on this sheet right here. Um, we could just put, I don't put future weddings here, we could just do occult rules. Um, right over here on this column right here. Um, this is my other rules. We have horses, lifespans. <laughs> We're not even doing anything with horses, really. Um, well, I should remember that. We have a horse in our main household that I just have not been calculating how old they should be. Um, hold on. Don't let me forget to do that. I'll, I'll remember, I'll remember what year we get our horse. Um, we got it as soon as they moved out. So we can just say it's that year that they got married. Um, oh, horse. Uh, okay, so it's half. Um, half demons, half, half demons, half wolves. Baby, five, ten, toddler, oh, infant. Infant rolls are, so we'll say infant roll is, Okay, maybe we'll do 12, 16 for infant rolls, and then for toddlers, we'll do just four, and then for child, we'll do just a 13. I know you can't see what I'm typing. Here, let me do that. And then teen, just a seven, and the GIA. Just, uh, we'll do a young adult, just a nine, and then adult is 11. I'm trying to make sure I didn't do any that I've done before, 11, 15, and then adult part two, adult two is going to be, um, less than it's anything above a nine so what about like um anything above five then? five or above let's see oh yeah we have a I think we have more than 20 families. Hold on, let me show you. Wrong, wrong sheet. I mean, wrong, wrong page. We have 44 families. And you can see this is Morbid Gamer, by the way, right here. This is her spreadsheet I stole. Um, she was, by the time she was in this space, she was on the, her seventh generation. I just am crazy and I won't drop Sims. We're gonna have to drop Sims eventually, but it's today. Oh. Today is not the day. We'll eventually drop some side households um, or we'll have them remarry into each other. Like people were, rich people were marrying their cousins back then. Um, so I think it's okay if they marry their third cousin, you know? It was not unfounded um, at this point in time. Cause first of all, you knew the family was good. And yeah, so, and also, there, also we have a bunch of other families that they can marry into. But I think in the sixth generation, I'm sorry, in the fifth generation, when those kids grow up, I think some of them will marry their, like, third cousins, so. At least the rich people will. So. So. But, in our age of households, they will not be doing that. They will only be marrying people of different clans. 
interesting things to think about. Um, okay. We did it all. I'm, I wrote down the rules that we're going to follow for the half demon rules. Um, and then the elder, if they make it the elder, they'll be the same, which is just rolling a d20 for end of life. Yay! Save and go to man's world. I'm gonna go pee, because I always have to pee. I've been three hours, so pretty impressive. I mean, I'm not drinking enough water then, you guys, so drink some water, everyone. Okay, BRB, and we're gonna, we're gonna run some ads while I'm take a play break. That was an accident. I just tried to click on my chat and it like lagged and I accidentally pinned the six accidental rules. Okay, I'm going now, I'm going now. Okay, I hope everyone got some water, got some snack. I was only gone for like a minute. I know, speed pee, speed pee. Um, but I'm gonna load into one of the households. Um, we got Mildred, Rose, and Theodore. Oh my god, wait, we also have Joseph II becoming a toddler. We also have Lawrence, we have Lancelot has a birthday too. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. We're going to Lancelot first. We're starting with the eldest. We're going to Lancelot. We're doing Lancelot's birthday first. I will not roll while ads are playing down. We will wait. But the Korean 30 by 20 law you made is up if you'd like to use it. Oh my gosh, okay. I'll, I'll load it in um, maybe off stream or something like that. Maybe they get. Yeah, let's put photos on, um, put photos in Discord. Photos in Discord. Okay. It's now mom and dad's turn. Where are you? I mean, mom and parents' turn. Lancelot, you are first because you are my sim. 
You beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful person. Okay, you missed it. How many worlds? Words? Worlds? We have... Are you saying words or worlds? If you're saying worlds, we have four right now. We play in... Um, we play in uh, America as Brindleton Bay. Windenburg as... It's, it's like England, but it's also like... I need to update that! The Mubon Command is old now. Uh, it's also says 1650. We're going to be in 1616 soon. Um, Colonial America and France. And France is Hemford on Bagley. Um, I, England, this is like, it's going to slowly become more like West Europe. So including like the Netherlands and I don't know, maybe, maybe the, uh, the Nordic, Nordic countries. Hi, Trinity. Your phone died, but you're back. Oh, no. <laughs> Twitch really does drain phones. Um, and then we we recently just live stream unlocked, um, what we voted on in our Discord to be the next world, which um, is like China slash Korea. I wanted to go to China so badly, but there's really just not a lot of Chinese CC from this era that had all really that you can find at least i looked on tumblr um i'm sure you can find more if you know what to search in like mandarin but i don't i don't i don't know what to search um but we've done lots of korean cc like lots of korean cc so but i also think that as like a group there's a lot more korean players that like to play with like historical things so there's a lot more korean cc makers okay let's go ahead and roll for our dearest lancelot lancelot is becoming i think adult part two yes this is a Lan wait no no lancelot's becoming an adult you're a young adult yeah lancelot's becoming an adult let's get you on your lot first of all go here okay lancelot's on the lot they're so cute. I love the Sim so much. They're so happy. Look how happy they are. Look at this. Look at this. Just a guy. Maybe I should replace the, uh... <laughs> Maybe I should replace the Eddie emote with just Lancelot standing. The, 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 guy, the guy stands. Want to know something? You're Nor uh, you're Norwegian and also a bit Irish. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Well, this is the world for you then. This is like England, Ireland, Wales. Yes, yes, my Eddie Mo. <laughs> this is his brewery stand. It's actually Eddie Munson, just really tiny. I saw the image on the wiki. It was just like there. <laughs> it's like the <laughs> when you pull him up on the Stranger Things wiki, it's just that image, and so I stole it because I thought it was really funny. It was like ridiculously like big. I mean like ridiculously like a full size. <laughs> it made me giggle. I don't know. Maybe I'm just obsessed with Eddie Munson. Okay. I'm stalling. Okay. An adult. <laughs> the adult roles are 2, 6, 11, and 15. What's the dice? Uh, the dice is to roll. We're doing it right now. So, it is currently, we're playing the Decades Challenge. It's currently 1658. It, the year just changed. Um, and next we should do the standing and standing man. Yes! Uh, should we bring Alice in Wonderland or Alice through the looking glass? I don't know which one sounds more fun. Um, so, back to the dice. So, the dice are for the Decades Challenge. That's the challenge we're playing. Um, every time a sim has a birthday or ages up to a new life stage, we roll to see how likely it would be for this particular sim to make it through further through life. We have lots of caveats, lots of if and buts, you know, it's complicated. Chat has a say. Um, we have point rewards to save sims. Um, we have Grim who changes things. Hi, fucking hell. Welcome in. So let me show you. So every time a sim ages up, they have... A death chance and it depends on the age they're at and it depends on the time period we're in currently adult sims or sims becoming adults 
have death rolls of 2, 6, 11, and 15. So if this sim, Lancelot, rolls a 2, 6, 11, or 15, they die. Lancelot has already died before. This sim is complicated. Lancelot has already died before. Um, and we, then we brought specifically Lancelot back to life. So Lancelot's um, rolls were reset. Um, this is the only sim we did this for. So if Lancelot dies, you can save Lancelot if you so desire. So let us roll. Lancelot lives! Lancelot lives! So, um, we just go sim command the age adult. Lancelot made it to adulthood. They died as a teen, so yeah. And then we resurrected them because it was fun and we all love Lancelot. Our little non binary sim. This is Lancelot's wife, Geneva. Geneva was a sim who, um, someone in chat made, I forgot who made Geneva. Um, I wrote down their name somewhere. You manifested that? I know, right? Okay, Geneva's role now. Same role, same birthday. We do that for spouses just because it's less birthdays to keep track of and they're in the same household, so. Eight, hey, she survives! It was two, six, eleven, and fifteen, so. 2, 6, 11, 15. Yeah, yeah, I checked it. Okay, we're good. We're good. Congratulations, Geneva. You have made it on to the next life stage. Slay. Slay, girl, slay. To an adult. An absolute say. Okay. I think we're leaving this household now. Yep. No other birthdays. Here. Doesn't mean we don't have lots elsewhere. Oh, yeah, I bring the one you haven't finished. Firstly, I don't know, but I'm not someone who rereads books really ever. I mean, I reread my favorites, my exact favorites, when the time is right uh like after like uh, but i like my my very favorite set of books i've been rereading them like my, literally the books i call my favorite books and they're just as good but i almost don't want to reread them again because the memory of them is better than actually rereading them i just like to think about them and i like that they exist <laughs> i haven't even read the last one too i'm just not someone who likes to reread books so i'm i have a really bad opinion on that i'm always like oh read a book you haven't read before finish a book you haven't read before so <laughs> okay we're gonna go to i think that i think lawrence are you lawrence no you're bernard or you're mon who's lawrence who the hell is lawrence you guys Hey, Florence, where are you? Oh, is Lawrence? Oh, wait, hold on. Lawrence? Oh, Lawrence is uh, Geneva's kid. No, not Geneva. We were not Geneva. Do we have a Geneva? Georgiana is who I'm talking about. I think we have a Geneva. I have so many sims I can't keep track, guys. I like, I'm losing it. It's fun, but I'm losing it, you guys. You bring Winterlands for a book? Okay, slay. Do what you want to do. Read what you, read what you want to read. There are consequences to your actions. You, I like Pop Armor is awesome. Thank you so much for that fun. Oh, I really appreciate it. Welcome on in. Never been able to reread books. Yeah, I'm like a one time reader. I have so many books on my favorite shelf that I'm like, this is the best book I've ever read. But I'll, I probably won't reread it for five years. Like, you refuse to read the sequel to the Green Glass Siege, your favorite book growing up. But you don't want to take away from Little Hades if the sequel isn't enjoyable. Oh my gosh, I know what you mean. Like, people were like, I'm rereading Percy Jackson. And then I was like rereading it. And I was like, okay, this was so much better as a kid. Like, I do think, like, it does stand the test of time. I was giggling, but I was like, it's still, like, 
Like, it's not, you know, one of my favorite booktubers, Haley Pham, she calls books, certain books that are just like the absolute best in your mind, best they could ever, a book could ever be. She calls them six star reads. I feel like when you reread books you read as a child, they're no longer six star reads. Like you're like, yes, this is objectively a really good book, but as a kid, I, I had like a different sort of imagination that was being fulfilled, right? You ever see, you ever roll to see if a family moves worlds? Uh, no, but we are looking to maybe look at some of the families in these worlds to see. I think usually we should look at, usually, I think we should look at the European families, but we can also look here to see if any of them are going to move to like the the China, the China slash Korean world because I want uh like a Brewster tie to move there. It has to be a Brewster family though. It can't be anybody else. So we'll see. Maybe one of our um our Brewster main household heirs will like move over there. There's a couple that doesn't have any kids and there's someone who doesn't have um oh yeah maybe we can move him I don't know we could have him marry someone. We, he wasn't supposed to get married, Simon. But maybe we could just use this opportunity to have him marry into one of those families. Um, or marry someone over there. Yeah, literally the sim I'm just talking about, Simon. Simon has a dog, so he'd be moving with his dog. Um, a lot of them have animals, um, like chickens and stuff. But I don't play in every household, so it's really hard to keep the pets well and happy our main household has a has a horse too and um, we play with the horses we'll probably get another one in that household too but we're just waiting till we have more time and more kids yeah haiti that's what i was thinking about it yeah you know daughter of a chinese or korean merchant exactly that's what i was thinking about um doing i might wait till the families have more children but we could also do that, like, I could add, like, a baby into your, or, like, a child into your, or someone from one of your households and have them marry in. Sai, you have a good point. I think, I think he is, yeah, he is pursuing a demon or a vampire. You're right, I forgot about that. We haven't had a bardy check in a while. Um, if anyone wants to do that, we can go check on them. <laughs> fun fact, Mount Kamurabi Korea pack was your very first pack. So fun! Oh my goodness. Um, we did have one. Families. Oh my gosh, Hades. Slay. Okay, we'll go check on Barty. Oh my gosh, Candace too. Oh gosh, we'll double check on Barty's. We'll, we will pursue Simon's relationship with a demon. Um, I did, and one of your families moved to Glimmer Book. Ooh, now one kid roll has to become a spellcaster. That's so fun. We have a lot of occults right now, and we need to just get them, like, immersed into our game. Um, because my friends, they're all like, I have spellcasters for you. I'm like, I'm not ready yet. I'm still not ready. <laughs> I'm like, I'm still not ready. I need to, I need to get some spellcasters, but I think I might make my own to start with. Um um and i might make someone in this these households become a spellcaster okay let's let's roll for lawrence this is lawrence right here whose birthday it is lawrence is becoming a child it's a 13 and a 19 uh for lawrence to not make it to the next life stage so let's hope lawrence doesn't roll that three lawrence makes it to childhood congratulations lawrence you you won. You did that. Congratulations. You know what I'm gonna do though? Max out everything. You don't have the other one, but you know, we can at least do those those three. <laughs> Make it a little interesting. You know? Um, maybe you're a social better card then. Congratulations, Lawrence. Okay. Are you pregnant? You should be pregnant. Oh yeah, we just got her pregnant yesterday, so she probably doesn't know yet. We checked for her. 
Nobody has a llama right now. Oh, llama, I'm so sorry. I don't think we have a llama. It's because they, um, they're, I don't think they would have a llama in the areas they're at. Maybe the, our Asian households would have a, have a llama or an alpaca. But I think they're from, um, they're, they're from North America. Alpaca, or alpacas? Alpaca. Okay, alpacas are from South America. And the llama is a is a bred animal. So alpacas are native. Bred from the wild Huanaco, relatively common in South America. They're both from the camel family, we know that, which comes from the Asian camel. So maybe we could put them in they could be like fluffy camels or something in Asia. <laughs> Who can say that? Okay, hold on. I can't reach out because my Google Chrome is lagging. Okay, we're doing Barty Check now. This is our Barty Check family. Barty Check means that because this family doesn't really have many ties or birthdays going on, we have a Barty Check, which means we go in and we hang out with this family. Llamas didn't come to the US until the 1800s. There you go. There you go. But maybe one of them could have a fluffy camel. A fluffy camel, you know what I'm saying? I'm cold. I'm sorry. It's cold in here. Hold on. My sweater is dirty, but you know, we're good, we're good. We gooch. It may be a little dirty, but it's fine. Your leg gotta leap, that's the worst. I hate it when my legs do that. And then I have to walk around and stomp. Okay. I'm also thinking in honor of C, we need to have something going on with these vampires. So this vampire, She's currently romancing Eleanor, but I just don't think it's going to go anywhere. I did like the idea of her with Eleanor. I I don't know. I kind of want Sybil. Sybil's a they, them, by the way. They, them, vampire. I kind of want them to have a little romance with somebody, but I don't know who. Um, Who are you? Checking all the romantic intentions in this room. You. Oh. Hey, Cairo. What if we did, okay, we have Cairo, okay, you, so yeah, Adelard and Jonas are a thing. This is, okay, literally should have started. New people, hello, welcome, this is Barty. Barty is going to be our overlord. He's gonna watch over the Brewster uh, line and he will basically never die. He'll never die, he'll never age up. He's an adult for the rest of his life. Maybe he'll age down, but he's an adult for now. Um. And he's in the wrong outfit. <laughs> so is his spouse. <laughs> the doc is his spouse. They had like a little private marriage. This is what Barty should look like. This is his classic Barty fit. Okay. And he's just like a mascot at this point. We love him. Um, Jacques is always constantly annoying in the wrong outfit. Okay, that's Jacques. This is Barty who's being tense. Oh, you don't have to be tense. Why are you tense? No, you're fine. You don't have a midlife crisis going on. This Barty. He's beautiful. We love him. He's beautiful and we love him. Okay, this is <laughs> Eleanor having a day to herself. She's always playing chess. Poor Eleanor. Her spouse died um, and they had no kids. She's infertile. And it was a whole time and period and place. Um, We'll see. We'll see. I need to, um, so I'm thinking Sybil. Okay, so first of all, who had a relationship with Simon? Who was flirting with Simon? You? 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 Mr. Mr. Renat. 
So Renat and Wu Ball are twins, so everyone knows. A lot of them are siblings, so if you're asking about this is Jacques. He does not like pants. Yeah, this is Jacques, he does not like pants. <laughs> In your PA you have to permit to have exotic pets. Oh, interesting. actually legal to own a camel in New Jersey. There's like a lot of alpacas here, but we have a lot of like alpaca farms. Um, yeah, don't ask me. I don't know why. We have to pay our bills. We get mail. Well, you get mail and then invite Simon over. Or we can some commands, but no, or we can cheat some of them. Oh, Simon's gonna be right over. Might take a second. <laughs> Wait, <Play> fighting. <laughs> Pop. Music. I'm not listening to that pop music over my dead body. Okay. Mm, you hate everybody besides your sister Jacques Bartholomew. And you like Kyrell just a tiny bit. Well, I guess you could talk to Kyrell. Where are you? You're down here, aren't you? Did Simon ever come? That's the real question. I'm doing like 50 things at once. Fresh Carol's down here. You can, um, I just don't see Sybil with any of these sims. Joke about his facial hair. Why don't you just try? Try to get to know someone, Sybil. Yeah, sure, you can dislike them. Okay, let me. You. You were waiting for Simon, and then Simon, Simon not here? You love birds, and you have amazing compatibility. Um, llamas have tall necks, alpacas are short. Except llama versus alpaca, llamas are the, the, are the biggest llamoid. Alpacas are smaller. Llamoid is so silly. I know, right? Isn't it? Uh, MC Cheeks. Summon Sim. You said you'd be right over. Come on. Come hither. Or maybe we could do like a little club hangout. Where's our club? Is Simon in the club? No, Simon's not even in the club. Philip's in the club, I guess. Because Philip is Peyton's spouse. Wait, are they not even in the club? Wait, hold on. Are you not? Club. Join the club. Join the what is it called? It's called Silly Little People Club. Join Silly Little People. You too. Join Silly Little People. The rainbow. You're not you're not a silly little people girl. You in it? You're in it. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, none of the info. The les by the way, the lesbians used to live in this household, so. Your favorite animal is actually alpaca. The llama sounds so much more appealing. Fair enough. A French sim named Lamoid. <laughs> Lamoid. Okay, make it happen, chat. You want Lamoid? You you gotta work for Lamoid. Uh, who are you chatting with? Oh, and Peyton used to live in this household too. So the lesbians and Peyton all used to live here. And you hate Avalon. <laughs> I like that Sybil hates everyone besides Peyton and Kyral. <laughs> <laughs> they hates the rest of the demons. Hates Oh, you like Kishka just a little bit, but you really hate the rest of them. Simon will come over. <laughs> Maybe we can plan a stay over. What if we plan to stay over? Oh my gosh. Three nights. Currently invited. Sims don't invite. Oh my gosh, I've never done that. Yeah. Do it now. Okay. 
Don't delete anybody. Baby, I'm worried. Time to MCC summon. I did, Hades. I did. And he's not coming. I summoned him, and he's not coming. I summoned the soon. I summoned him, and he won't come. He's like, I am not summoned. Simon's his own guy. I love him so much, though. He's one of my favorite sims. He's such a cutie, too. He should be over, but he is not coming over. This lot is also so big, I just don't notice when Sims show up. Come on! He won't come. It might be because there's just too many Sims. This could be part of the reason. He might need to go to Simon. Um. Okay, where's Eleanor? I just feel like, I feel like the thing her and Eleanor have is just not right. Like, I feel like she just needs to find somebody else. And, you know, that's okay. But, you know, it hurts. Um, but I feel like Eleanor was kind of like, not super into it, you know? Do you like anybody? No, you don't like anybody else. You don't have any other friends besides Jacques. Everyone loves Barty too. You should love Barty. Hey, everybody loves Barty. Everybody loves Barty. Everyone's friends with Barty. Barty's the most lovable person ever. So. Oh, I think they're like talking like this. <laughs> uh, vampirically run here. So I think part of the problem is like the, they like this like it doesn't realize this is at different heights into the game it's like just a couple feet away right <laughs> wait hold on this is kind of funny the vampire <laughs> run do the lesbians get did the lesbians get burned at stake? No, no, they're humans and they run an orphanage now. <laughs> He's being observed. <laughs> I just thought it was so funny. Yeah, I think it's because there's just so many sims. It's not allowing other people in the lot. It's okay, we'll go visit- we'll, we'll go visit Simon! We'll go visit Simon! Maybe he'll go travel. Pleasant call. I know, we shouldn't be calling on the phone. Sorry, pleasant letter! Simon- Simon's like, keeps writing him like, Yeah, I'll come stay, I'll come stay, I'll come stay! And he like, won't come. And he's like, what's up? Like, what's going on? Like, why aren't you coming? Um... Let's see. Maybe they can go... Let's see, um... Let's see, oh, I'm so down. Travel, duh. We'll travel together. Maybe they'll, like, meet up somewhere. <laughs> I just want to make sure Simon's at the slot, so he's gonna go to his house. Be like, yo, what's up? I thought we... thought we had something. I thought we were doing something. thought this was going somewhere. Real test of this relationship is gonna work is does Renat get along with Simon's dog? Olive is the queen. She is a queen. She decides. So this used to be our main household. So Olive used to be like our family dog. But we decided because Simon was the sim, we kept like going out trying to find dogs. But at the end of the day, she was most definitely. So this is our old main household. This is Hugh and Hugh's wife. They will never have kids. They rolled the no, none on the kids. This is Olive. So you must do, do a little friendly introduction. Oh no! She doesn't like it! No! Oh my gosh! 
like, can you talk to her? He's like, oh no, oh no. Offer friendship. He was like, come on, the poor guy. She knows. I don't, well, we said that we don't think Simon knows he's a demon, by the way. <laughs> Give a treat. So I was like, oh, you're getting along with my dog? Okay. Give a pep talk. So what's up, bra? Flatter. <gasps> First kiss. Brain day. Sam's running away. Sam's like, I have duties for my household. Bribing dogs always works. I know, right? There is no way to show anybody how much you care about them other than like, like completely spoiling their pets and being like, you know, green flag, green flag. <laughs> Who's about new albums? Can you compliment the house? Your family's great. Okay. Oh yeah, you didn't have that. Okay, we're on we're on a roll, come on. Alright. Oh, you look so nice. Do a little flirty. Do a little um do a little first kiss. Nobody better be in here. Here we go. Screenshot thumbnail. First kiss in the kitchen. The kitchen of first kisses. With juice on the counter. The glasses smash. I love Simon. We love it. We love to see it. We love to see it. Confess your attraction. Okay, we'll see. How does he take this? If he takes this well, we'll ask him to be like, maybe our boyfriends? Okay, maybe it just went well. It just went well. Ask me boyfriend. And then don't peer piss, then. Then do go piss. Yeah, their boyfriend's out. Okay. Go piss, girl. Go piss, girl. Go piss. So that's why this household's, like, really fleshed out, is because there's we used to live here, and we used to actively play in this loft. That's why they have, like, such a big garden and everything. He's Hugh. I love Hugh. I'm so sad he's not having kids. But it's okay. It's better this way. Because, wow, do we have so many children. And his sister. So, basically... Oh, hey, look. This is our friend Seraphine. Or maybe we don't know her. Oh, yeah. We moved in after her. Seraphine's one of our lesbians. Don't know why she's here. She's just spreading the word. She's like, we, op we opened an orphanage. <laughs> So our main sim, this is his siblings. That's Hugh. So he's pursuing Simon, who is um Joseph the Second's little Joseph's little brother. Not Joseph the Second. So Simon is Joseph's little brother. Simon was supposed to inherit the house too, because Joseph didn't want it. So but uh now both two boys in a row are not having babies. So I don't know whose family's gonna continue with this house at all like we needed to have a different house at our in our main household because we needed room for horses um and this lot like as the house is does not have that much room for horses and stables and stuff so 
that's partially why we have we moved to a new lot um but like obviously like we could put a stable in like like right here or something on this this the lot ends like on this line here you can see so we could definitely put like a stable in on like this side of the house or something easy peasy or like move the house over a little bit like so we have lots of room on both sides we'll see though we'll see okay i think that's good let's go ahead um let's switch control to jonas so jonas and adelard and we'll go back to them yeah none of the so the only young adults in that household are Simon and um and hugh and hugh is married simon is not married he rolled no for marriage he rolled for marriage, but him and his wife didn't roll for any kids. Um, and I think... Oh, we, we love the, the typewriter little library in here. Um, so yeah, the ginger kid is... Is... What's his name? I don't remember what his name is. He's not a young adult. He has not yet rolled for marriage. Okay, we'll, we'll find him. We'll find him. This is Thomas Brewster's line. And this Brewster. This is Herbert. So we have Herbert and Hester, who have who are still teens in this in that household that are yet to be married. So these are so only one, two, three of the Sims ended up having children. And this is our main Sim, Joseph, Georgiana. And then Mercy, and Mercy's gonna have a lot more kids. And Mercy's none of... Uh, no, Mercy had four kids and they all died. It's okay, she has more, but like, that's so sad. All four of them died. That's just how some of the households are though. Like, you know, not everyone can have kids. Thank God some of them die because like, we would not be doing well. So yeah, this is Simon. And then Q has a wife, Winifred. Um, But they're not having any babies. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do with them. Some Sims, you're just like, I forgot about them. We we don't play with them anymore because there's just too many Sims. All right. All right. Day. Okay, Jonas. Let's have you and this is Kyra. Yeah. You know, keeping up the relationship. Keeping up the... The, the, uh... The love. The whatever. Go woohoo out loud. When's Jonas's birthday? Jonas is gonna be old soon. When's his birthday? Okay, he's right before John the third. <gasps> he's soon. <gasps> Jonas is gonna become an has a birthday really soon. Oh my gosh. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. His birthday's in 1660 in two years. So like not super soon, but. Jonas is getting old, you guys. This is adult part two. Oh my god. Where are you going? <laughs> Shut up. Oh, you guys. Oh, you guys. Okay, Sybil, are you still talking? Wow, are you friends yet? Is Kyrell still here? Kyrell, weren't you just down there? Or did you come back to talk? Kyrell was like, <laughs> I come back into my sims are like, places, everybody, places. Oh, wow, you've been chatting for quite a bit. They could just be pals, too. Like, they don't have to, you know, you know. But I just want the relationships to gel a little more. Everyone to have someone, you know. That's what they're here for. Okay. And we'll also have some more shimmies. What are you, Adelard, bro? Bro, what are you doing back there? Um, yum. There we go. I swear to God, every time I load in here, someone's stuck. 
Someone is stuck. Can you guys um do what I asked you to do? Here, come to this hustle. Look at what Jonas. I s oh, Eleanor. Oh, she's going to pee. I don't know whose house was what. What? Bruh. Oh, she has this accessory on. That's why. See, I did have an accessory version of that. You know, this is just what happens. You know, CC. Sims be simming. The Sims be Sims. The Sims be shimming. The shims be shimming. The family when you load in. <laughs> I'm like, I still am like, I don't really know what we should do with Eleanor, man. Like, I feel like she doesn't, like, she had a good time here. But I feel like she doesn't, maybe she should leave. Maybe she leaves, guys. Maybe she goes and she joins. I was like, what household would she join, though? I'm thinking like that might be it. You know, she's gonna break gosh damn Suzanne's heart, but it needs to be over. Like they're not like they have all this romance, but like Eleanor has turned her down so many times because really, you know, she was just like her husband died and she was like in this, you know, she figured out she's living with a bunch of cults, a bunch of gay people. I do think she is, like, queer, but she's just, like, not there. She's not ready to, like, admit it. Um, there's not many, really, like, households that... I mean... <gasps> what if she moved in to, like, the bestie household? Um, of ace people? <laughs> and she married one of them for appearances. Like, they got into, it like, a marriage for appearances, but it's really, like they're just married to hang out you know it's like an ace you know marriage of appearances we have this household of like ace sims that aren't in a relationship we've all been there yeah her husband died she left her husband but she's also infertile um and an older woman so you know she's been struggling even in this like really accepting community she still feels like the pressure of her forefathers and like everyone else outside of this like community and she's also a human and i feel like there's there's only one other human jonas but jonas is kind of like a spinster yeah she's a spinster her husband died i feel like she all she does is play chess she never hangs out with anybody else she all she does is play chess so i think i'm gonna have her move out i think it's time i think it's time She'll have, she'll have a good life in the other household, though. Um, I think we do MC Command Center. Right? Don't we do this? Oh, no. Hold on. What I can do is I can have her go. I forgot how to do it from MC Command Center, but I know how to do it another way. We can just go to that family and and um ha and have her go add to family. We'll just go into the family. We'll take her over there. this household oh wait maybe her and Bater could marry just for appearances right oh my gosh he's older too yes that's such a good idea wait i'm so smart i'm so smart she's not gonna marry one of the ace people she's gonna marry Bater for appearances yes so, so these are a bunch of sims that uh rolled no for marriage but Bater didn't roll no he just lives in this household so then we can okay go knock on the door they live in this cute little house together there's bunk beds it's so cute you can wear a moment and then because he's also older they won't really be expected to have children but this is peter harrington literally jonas's brother this is this is jonas's brother um okay so we're going to Remove from family. Oh, because we... Yeah. Interesting. Like, we're going to go into MC Command Center. Some commands. Wait. That's easy cheats. Wait, this one. Yeah. That's how you switch households really quickly, just so you know. I said this house one. Okay. 
I've been feeling like her storyline has been really like stale um and like she's not going anywhere after her husband died other than this relationship I don't think she the sim literally was not cooperating I fought her so much to get her into that relationship I think she's just got too much internalized homophobia it's just not gonna work okay you can add the family and then Hades I'm gonna look up your cheat that you sent me Hades sent me a cheat um should be in gameplay I think Yeah, 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 you're so good. Okay, touching cheat songs, one sim. Is it testing? Okay, you do this, and then you do. Look on the other sim, cheat relationship. Okay, awesome. So it should say, uh, I'm looking for the fiance sheet. Click one sim, shift click, other sim, cheat relationship. I don't see a cheat relationship. I'm sure there was so many parent yeah, me too. So many appearance marriages. Career pickers would be like marriage is that bugs cheat me? No. Outfit? No. Cast? Kill? Cheats? Some info? No choices. Hmm. I don't see the option. Let's try and find the tear. Oh, maybe it's because they don't know each other? No, they do. They do know each other. Maybe we can cheat their like one. Maybe it needs to be like high. We'll we'll put it back down. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll just do it in cast then. Maybe try resetting him? How oh, possibly. And also could be like because they're in the same household, maybe? I don't know. Change me, change outfit. Both of them reset. Shift click. Need outfit, cast, kill, pack, tip, some info, motive, lifestyle, lifestyles, preference. Interesting. Only only clear marriages shows up. Give books. It's fine. It's fine. We can just go into cast. We'll just make them married anyways. I don't want to have it. They're not gonna have a big marriage. It's fine, I don't know why it's hurting. Ah, the game fights me anyways. The game fights me every day. The game fights me every day. Oh, look, their husband and wife. Congratulations. I don't know, I don't know. I believe you, Hades, 100%. You wouldn't share something you haven't tested, so. Maybe there's another... I have testing sheets on because a lot of those options only pulled, pulled up when I had them on. <sighs> Who knows? Have a good lurky. Have a good shower. Okay. Interesting. Okay, well, yay! Now she has a place. 
Um, let's go ahead and... That was a good Barty check. Let's save and go to Manage Worlds, actually. I was gonna go back in, but... We'll save and go to Manage Worlds. We had a double Barty check, so I wanted to spend a little more time with them. But it's almost the end of the night for this day, and we need to go ahead and do... We have so many birthdays. We did Lancelot and his wife. We did Lawrence. We have Joseph the Second, but it's okay. We'll go ahead and we'll do Joseph and at the end of the night. We have Mildred, Rose, and Theodore. All on the same birthday. All on the same birthday. And now I have to remember. I know they were the two twins, but which one is... Ah, and Mildred is... Yes, this family's child. And did I say to get Chastity pregnant again next? Was she next on my pregnancy list? Yes, Chastity was one of the ones who was next because she only rolled two baby bowls. Busy day, very busy day because we had three babies born on the same day. So I'm hoping at least one of them will die, which is sad, but then our spreadsheet will be a little bit less intense every time their birthdays come around. Most likely one of them will die. It was surprising that none of them died their very first round. Okay. You have your baby who's going to have a birthday to, um, are you already, in a, did we already do a birthday on accident? I think we might have accidentally already done your birthday. We accidentally already did your birthday, so Mildred is fine, I guess. Oopsies. Okay, Mildred's fine and an infant already. So can you... Hmm, we only have one. <laughs> Go here. And then you can try for a baby with Geffen. I need to get a bush that can try in, I'm gonna be honest. Yep. Samir and Sean. No, you're fine. You like your mom just fine. Your mom nearly died. Oh, they're fighting. <laughs> you gonna do it? Oh no, he's fighting with his mom. Sorry. Oh, is it because dad is gonna come cry in bed? No. Okay, fine. We'll get them something else to woohoo in. <laughs> We'll have to try for a baby in a bush, because this household is too poor. It's too poor. We'll have them get a, a, a bush. Um, I'm just going to be real here. They're too poor to have anything else. Okay, this bush. Wait, is this... Can we go through it in the scoreboard form? They should be able to, right? Yep. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Everyone leave! <laughs> no! <laughs> I thought they were gonna... I was like, wait a minute, are they? No! What is he doing? Get out. You... No! Come here. You come here. Come sleep. You? Come here. You wake up. You wake up. This house, this house is not big enough for all of them. It's okay. We don't spend much time here. <laughs> they're very, they're just such a really poor household of just absolutely beautiful sims. Okay, they're gonna go out down and woohoo in the woohoo bush. Very poor household of beautiful, beautiful sims. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay, girl. Let's see if she's pregnant or not. I'm not gonna look. Let's see. Pregnancy. She's pregnant. She's not pregnant. I didn't see what with. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. No spoilers. I don't wanna know. Um. Uh. Brain. Brain. Okay, we're leaving this house. Let's save and go to Manage World. Slay. 
think we accidentally got two people pregnant on the same day, but I don't care. It's fine. It's technically the next day. It's fine. Um, so next we have, so Mildred is alive. Okay, now we have Rose and Theodore from our other households. Um, okay, Rose and Theodore. I think what happened is I pushed Mildred down a day. So Mildred should probably be sharing with Montague. Actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to have Rose and... I'm going to have Mildred share with Montague. So then we just don't have three on one day. We have just two and two, Mildred and Montague. Because I think I did that anyways. That's what ended up happening. And that's why Mildred is already aged up. Because I had moved the birthday. So now instead of Mildred, we're going to have Montague. Mildred on each birthday day and then Rose and Theodore can have their their color. I don't know. What color is the ink for oh they're like this bright blue. Hold on, I'm fixing my spreadsheet. So their the birthdays are a little more spread out. <laughs> we have two we have uh, that means we have three double birthdays in a row. You made mac and cheese. Oh my god that sounds so good. I have some Hopoki leftovers that I made. That's what I was making yesterday. I was like, I don't have enough time. And then everything died. And then I was like, oh, the paleo servers died. And I was like, oh, I guess I do have time to make Hopoki. So and then I made it with the ramen. It was really good. It was like really delicious good. Okay. Wait, why is this one plate household? We should have two plate households. This one should be played. How do we mark this household as played? Oh. I think we'll just have to go in there. We'll give them a baby try in a second here. Oh, wrong way. Next way. Um, here we are. We're going to have the so the first Ainsworth baby has another roll. Um Let's go to the yeah, we'll go here first. Hmm. Will I get mirror pregnant again while I'm here? Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just do a double again. I can suck it up. Fasty's now pregnant. Um I'm like thinking about all the storylines. No, I'm gonna wait for Mira. I'll wait. We'll do mirror tomorrow though. We'll come back and we'll we'll get mirror pregnant on the next day. Okay. Baby's turn to age up. Okay. Uh, baby's death rolls are 12, 16, 18. So if the baby rolls those rolls, it will not make it to the next life stage. Um, let's hope it doesn't roll 12, 16, or 18. No! Oh, not Baby Rose! Oh, no. That is indeed a death roll for Baby Rose. I'm so sorry, everybody. Um, this baby will not be making it um unless somebody in chat has 15,000 points they would like to save baby rose with 15,000 chaos points points are a free currency you can earn it just by watching stream um you know your point number by looking below the chat it should be like a little sim shouting mouth and it will say chaos points but if you hover over it click on that and you scroll all the way down and for 15,000 points you can click and just read it and see what it says, the description. Um, and then it will double check redeem. And you can redeem. Save a sim has a breaking heart emoji. So sad. I'll give a couple minutes because I know this baby was beloved. But alas, not everyone can be saved and some babies must pass away. And also the baby rolls are very difficult. So... Um, 
It does, uh, it does happen. Okay, I'm calling it. No one, no one jumped. No one's saying wait in chat. Goodbye, Rose. You were a good baby. You were good. Let me go ahead and mark Rose's deceased on our spreadsheet. Because we will, we're going to just load into the next one. I know, it's so sad. Poor Mira. Save and go to manage world. So I will fix Rose. As deceased. In 1658. She was one. And she died of... I don't know what she died of. Um... I, I found a list of things to die of on my spreadsheet. But now I can't find it. There's also a list of like what I plan to name babies before I start streaming, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Uh, choking, infection, typhoid, pneumonia. We'll say um, pneumonia. In... Okay, I think I spelled that right. I could have spelled it wrong. N pneumonia be like that. Okay. Going into this household with this baby. Well, at least that relieves a name off of the timeline in our spreadsheet. So sad. But, just the way things are. It's just the way they are, sadly. Um, let me make sure... I'm really bad at remembering to cross off at the sins that are deceased. Okay, good. Let me make sure I cross off just Rose. Um... See if Theo makes it and Rose crossing her off everywhere. Poor Rose. Okay. Theodore, Answorth, it is now your turn to roll. Again, same numbers for this baby 12, 16, and 18. Let's go. 10! That's a surviving roll! Congratulations, Theodore. You have made it to the next life step. That's a good one. We needed a we needed an uplifting one. Inky infant. Congratulations. Okay. I'm gonna say and go to manage the world. Um and then we have We have our main household this child this this fine day and we we actually have both of them because it's turning into s from monday from monday so we'll just go home both our kids are gonna have roles and then we're gonna have to go back at, and then mm, do we do we wait maybe i'll just do the monday ones real quick i don't know this child doesn't exist oh no i'm sorry i, I had to okay Okay, um, so yeah, we have both our children, but it's already Monday, so I'm gonna quickly do them. Oh, <gasps> wait. We also have Heidi. <gasps> no. And Hester. Hester is the girl, the one of our girls from our own main household. We have a lot of important birthdays, you guys. We got a lot of important birthdays. Um... Let's go ahead and do Crowley first, and then we'll go back to our main household. Um, Crowley now lives here. And this empty household, I said I'd decorate, but I haven't gotten... We will eventually. We will eventually. A little, little sip of coffee, a little sip of Sprite. Okay, it's good. It's I. By the way, the the day, but the birthday space between these babies is one day. So, it 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 is like if you think we're coming back fast, we are because it's one day. This baby has the same exact rules: twelve, sixteen, eighteen. Let's 
Oh, it doesn't die. 11. We know it doesn't. I only had a, only had a 12. This baby's a half. It's a half. Or it had a 12 and a 16. Let me see. It's 11. It, it, didn't, it didn't even hit the original ones. Because it's a half demon. 12, 16. Yeah. And it, it got an 11. It's fine. Okay. Baby care. Age up. Age up, you little half demon. Oh, you're so cute. It has red hair! Oh my god, good boys. Let me just get the... Let me just get them a couple things. You know, they can have a couple things. Where's the... Okay. We can give them a bed. And we can give them, like, lights. Let's give them a bed. bed and maybe some light some like candles in the house like a, like a one of these i love the new one from the pack it's so good not this but this Okay, this isn't the best, but you know it's working. And then we'll get the baby a crib. Like, oh yeah, we still have more money. I don't think the demons really struggle with money. Oh wow, Peyton is not going broke from the fabulously wealthy aspiration. <laughs> you go, little Theo. I know, right? No hitch here. All we'll get is things Theo needs. All we care about is Theo. Theo and Theo's needs. It's like a kitchen back here. I have no clue what is what. Well, maybe we can make that like a nursery. Maybe this can be a nursery. We can make this a little nursery. a bathroom in here maybe i don't want anyone to piss themselves you know that's just like not the vibe go piss out oh there's like a piss bush out here too any fun rugs any fun any fun rugs any rugs that look old enough to be here yeah maybe you you're too big. It doesn't matter. You're too big. <laughs> the baby room rug. <laughs> um, like what else does this kid need? Uh, you. And um, we got a high chair out here. Yahoo! High chair. I'm like, I don't know what the tower is for either. You can probably put a kitchen along this wall. I'm like, I'm not gonna do anything but this, and then I end up decorating the entire thing. It's very like me. Let's do... We'll do this color. Why not? Birch wood. It's fine. Okay. Oh, just two. And then an old fridge. We'll do this fridge. can have the disaster stove. What's the difference? Version 2. I don't understand the difference. Okay, that's fine. Um, what else do I need? The outdoor trash can. This trash is annoying. Ah, 
guys are in progress. It's okay, we won't do anything important. Let's put it right there. <laughs> it could be hidden right there behind that wall. Um, or this. Okay, heal barrel will work for inside too. Congratulations, my shimmy. Put their toddler there. The old shimmies. Um. Congratulations. Okay. That's good enough. That's enough. That's enough stuff. Maybe he has a place to sleep and some blocks and we'll have more things in this one as we come in here more. Okay. Saving and going to manage worlds. Um, on this Monday, 2 a.m. Um, I think it's probably time to go back to my main household. Meaning we have three birthdays. Kind of scary. We have three whole birthdays. And then we have Hester, who will do last. Can't believe everyone has a birthday already. It's a good house. I don't know what house, who was at the right house. Yeah, yo. Yeah, yo. So we literally have three of our four sons have birthdays in this household. Our mom and our two kids all have birthdays. So we'll go in the order of, we, we missed a birthday because we were playing in the demon household. We had our birdie check. So we missed Joseph's birthday. So it's technically, it is, oh. He's like glaring at his sister. <laughs> um, I say we'll do Joseph's birthday. Ads are gonna end soon. And we're gonna oh, you know what we also should do? Oh, this disappeared. What the heck? There's a little desk slash nightstand. Hi, welcome back from ads. Sorry, you're playing, you're playing some footpanger. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. I was just waiting till ads were over. Don't worry about it. Um, one looks like Rowan Atkinson. I don't know who that is, but Slay. No pressure or anything with these birthdays, I know, right? <laughs> okay, we have, I'm gonna turn on MC Woohoo. Uh, pregnancy trip will be over set i'm gonna they're gonna try for another baby because her birthday's literally today so i'm gonna have them try before her birthday i'm scared um she's not gonna get a good roll because then if she's pregnant we have to wait guys <laughs> not gather mr bean oh really oh that's so interesting love rowan atkinson yeah i know mr bean um, trying for a trip for baby Joseph. Okay, they'll try for a baby. I'll roll for this baby. Okay, I cannot stand the crying. The scooting is hilarious. I love it. Wait, try for a baby. I don't. I. I'm gonna roll and get up close, but I don't want you. Yeah, sure, you can like pull up. But I cannot stand the the baby crying. After you try breastfeed the baby, because I cannot stand. I have to let go. Oh, you have to do Discord first. Like this. You have to do it first. Okay. 
Oh my god, stop crying, you stupid thing. Be here. Okay. What? I have a bandage and the horse still came in. Okay, it's this little infant's birthday. Happy birthday, infant. An infant becoming a toddler has a death roll of a 4, 8, 17. So let's pray. Pray for my sim. Yes! Okay, my sim is safe. That's a safety, not a safety. That's a safety, not a safety. Okay, baby, baby, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Joseph II. Eight, two, uh, happy birthday just in a second oh. oh no watch it oh it's lagging so badly it's my horse it like keeps coming into my house go away no no damn it go away everything's lagging and that was like on <laughs> did you see that Oh, have your birthday. You don't need to go anywhere. Sorry if you can hear that. I'm pretty sure that's when my neighbor next to me, their kitchen is like on this wall. I can't save because I'm trying to have this baby age. Oh, here, I'll save. I'll save all. I think it's when they run their garbage disposal. It makes that sound. So sorry if you can hear that. It's like, like a loud humming. Me too, up. Okay. We'll try that. We'll try two up then. Okay, good. It's so loud. It's not like they do it on purpose, but it's just annoying. Can my Sims climb two, two up though? I think my Sims might need stairs then. That's what I wanted to avoid. Stairs. Let's put it up one. It's fine. Because two up then my sims need stairs, right? And they can't get in and out with just two up, right? Okay, I'm sorry. I literally, I don't know if it's, it's either that or it's my garage. I can never tell, but it's always like a really, it's, it'll end soon. I should just mute for a second. Sometimes I don't even notice it. I'm just so used to the stupid sound. Hold on, sorry, my roller's up. I can't. Okay, stop. Okay, I didn't stop. I'm gonna mute. It's like a really loud humming noise on my end. I, I wonder if you can only hear it if you have headphones. Okay. Let's just, I'm gonna get this baby to... This baby to... Yahoo! I'm gonna check and see if she's pregnant. You, it's really noticeable when you have to wear headphones because your fan is loud. Oh. Uh, it won't stop. I wonder what, I don't know. See, I don't know. Sometimes it just happens. It's like this loud humming sound and it only happens for a couple minutes. I always thought it was maybe my par my neighbors using their garbage disposal. But now I think it's the garage. I don't know, I can't ever tell. I wear a lot of headphones on my because these small annoying they're not even that loud, they're just annoying and loud enough. Um, it's barely noticeable. Okay, good. It's just really annoying on my end because it's really loud on my end. So But luckily my mic doesn't pick up a lot of those things. I'm just like I can't tell if you guys can hear it or not. <laughs> it's just annoying because this time it just like it's usually ended by now. It's just this like really loud humming noise. 
and it kind of comes from like this corner too which is like interesting i don't know maybe it's something outside you know i i've noticed there's i'm not gonna complain about my building <laughs> i live in a nice building but there are some issues every place has its issues right so every place has its issues um let me um double check like my brain is lagging you guys i'm like not see pregnancy she's not pregnant okay well i guess we'll do her birthday it's her birthday she's gonna become an adult meaning her children likelihood goes even further down so from a 25 percent to a 20 percent through adulthood it's rough it's rough I don't know where it's coming from. Yeah, I literally just put my head ha headphones on and I ignore it and I'll, um, because I can't escape from it. Yeah, I don't know what this noise is. Hold on. Now I'm like, now I can't stand it. It's almost like, it sounds like that other noise, but it's almost like it's coming from outside my building. I don't know. It like won't stop. Like I just mm, so annoying, so annoying. I can't stand like power tools, like lawn mowers and stuff. It drives me insane. I just lose all functionality in my brain. It's literally why I bought noise canceling headphones. Like I just cannot function when I hear them. I just want to die. <laughs> like I literally, my brain stops working. Put headphones on, perfectly fine perfectly good i'm almost almost like more productive the second i put them on after it happens because like i finally am like oh, i can get stuff done now that's going away it's it feels like it's coming from my wall okay i can focus i'm probably gonna end stream because this noise is not going away but i can focus till the end i'm really bad at like outside places i just can't i am using up yeah Last week you couldn't find out what the beeping was coming from and it was you losing your brain. I hate that. Or like a fire alarm. Okay. Um so it's her birthday. Um she's becoming an adult. So two six eleven fifteen of her death rolls. I'm really hoping she doesn't get a two six eleven or fifteen. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. You can do it. So twelve, she's fine, yay. Grams at age two. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! So she has a separate birthday from her husband. Joseph's birthday is. We we're saying that she's older than Joseph. Wait, let me see. I'm still going to remember. Yeah, she's older than Joseph by like two years. So my main my main households, the girls have their own birthdays. So yeah. Okay, now for the little one. Okay, little one, your birthday is here too. Everyone shares the same birthday in this household. Actually, the 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 toddler's birthday was late. That's why. Um, little one, your birthday. You are Miss. Constance. Um, your birthday is 12, 16, 18. Um, welcome back, Katie's. 12, 16, 18. Death rolls. Not birthday. Death rolls. You're fine. Yay. 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 Okay. So, we'll have to make sure to set their baby try back down to 20%. Her birthday is actually 12, 16. Oh my gosh, no way. Happy half birthday. Well, that's not your half birthday anymore. I cannot believe it's already August. Crazy. 
exciting to see this year went by so fast for me. Um, okay, we're gonna save and go to Manage Worlds, and then we have one last birthday to deal with the day. That's Miss Hester, who is Joseph's sister. So it's really funny, it's still a birthday in this family. <laughs> um And then Mercy's birthday is the next day. Wow. William has a birthday too. Wowie. Okay, we're going here. Yeah, okay. I don't know why this noise is not stopping. It's driving me insane. Is it my... Hold on. Not even my AC. It's not my AC. It's like coming from this area. It might just be like a, a unit on a building or something, like an AC unit, but I don't know why it'd be starting just now. It's late. It's like 7.30 in the evening. Why would it be doing that? Sorry, I'm like having like a freak out over this stupid AC unit. Hi, Trinity! No, unfortunately with my son, I mean, I guess I could, but my computer particularly, I have issues using the headphones. I don't always hear everything i tried to do it so much in the way way past um i just know that headphones like just don't work very well with this computer i don't know why they just it doesn't like to use headphones um but i can i can plug them in if needed um i just i don't have them with me i need to go get them i have headphones like i said but Okay, I was planning on ending soon anyways. We've been live for four and a half hours, which is pretty long. I just wanted to get this last birthday done. It's just driving me insane. Okay, Miss Girl, get on the lot. Like, again, this is... So, this is, like, we were here because we were just fighting with Simon with one of the demons. Okay, this is Miss... This is Miss Hester. I love her so much. She's probably one of the coolest since... I have. She's gonna become a young adult, so three nine twenty are her death rolls. One. That is safe. Congratulations, Miss Hester. You're now a young adult. I put that away, but we need to. We're going to roll to see if she's gonna get married. She's lactose intolerant, glutton, and a dance machine. Oh, wow. That's... Wow. Maybe you like to... Build muscle, I don't know. Take your meds! Yes! Okay, Miss Hester, are you going to get married? Miss Hester, are you going to get married? So, 1 through 6, no marriage. Um, 7 through 20, yes, marriage. An 8, oh, just barely. Yes, she's getting married. Congratulations, Miss Hester. You're getting married. You're gonna get married. She'll probably live here because a lot of these Sims are not gonna have children. So we'll fill up the house with the children, with Hester and whoever her spouse is. Um, let's go into... We have a little wedding arch in here. No, we don't. I think I deleted it. It's okay, we can have a local wedding. Local wedding. Okay, let's go ahead and... Modify her household in cast, and we'll get her... Um, wait, hold on. There was hus- I made husbands in the world. <laughs> Never mind. Hold on. We'll, we'll, we'll uh... We'll uh, make sure she has a little wedding look. We'll give her a little wedding look. Maybe something like that, or... Technically, white wasn't always worn to weddings back here, but I kind of like the, the, the idea. We've been told that multiple times that white is not always so color for weddings. But like a nice dress, though, that's not her little Puritan outfit would be fun. 
dress is kind of a big deal dress. So maybe not this one, but maybe like this one. I don't let my sims wear this dress a lot. I think it could be fun. We could do like an off-white. Oh, it stopped, it stopped. I think it's, I don't know, maybe it's not, maybe, maybe it's like a vacuum or something. It could have been a vacuum. The noise stopped, just so you know. <laughs> it stopped. Watch it start again. I'm like, hallelujah, it stopped. And then it starts again. So we'll get her a spouse. I'm trying to know what is wrong with my bangs today. I keep like, they're like not cooperating. Nothing, nothing, nothing likes it. I'm like, what? I don't want to do anything. It's fine. Okay, my sister, let's go ahead and we're gonna travel. And we're gonna go to the orphan place and we'll age on that. It was definitely, I've heard my neighbor vacuum before. It doesn't sound like a vacuum, but I'm wondering if it's like maybe a different machine or something. I don't know. It was, it was just a, it felt like it was coming from outside. It felt like it was like a built, like a, like a, like a humming from a building, you know, like from like an outdoor AC unit or like an outdoor machine that's on the side of a building, something like that. Just like vibrating my entire apartment though. You made a Discord account, you're confused, but there. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, welcome to our Discord. We've had a couple, don't worry. We have a couple people who are brand new. Um, you can generally, like, I'm usually around, so if you have questions, you can just ask them in there. But you'll be able to see, um, all of our stuff! And be able to post some pictures, so just, like, make sure you read the... So we have a bunch of different rooms in our Discord, and if you click on them at the top, a lot of them should have descriptions of, like, what, on PC at least, of what's supposed to go there. But, like, CC is for custom content. The gallery page is for anybody who wants to share some work they've done, like a sim or gallery or like a house they built. Decades challenge is supposed to be dedicated to like anybody playing the decades challenge. We have a history channel that's supposed to be for people posting sources for history. And then there's a Brewster challenge, which is like specifically uh, for my gameplay that where we do important things like polls. So yeah, very fun stuff. But do you mean to have two A's and LGQIA? You never seen it with a double A? Uh, yeah, I think that, yeah, I do mean to have two A's. I think sometimes people have double A's and sometimes people don't. Um, the, I'm pretty sure the two A's are like asexual and then agender. And then, so they're like representing um the sexual uh, the sexuality and then like gender identity so that's what i believe they stand for um but yes but yes i have both um sometimes it sometimes people don't um sometimes I, i've seen people do way back in the day i mean not way back but like when the acronym first started and largely, I saw people do LGBTQIA2. <laughs> two A's? <laughs> I've seen that. Two, two, two plus. Yeah, I know. I Sometimes I'm like, the other letters, I'm like, I, I don't, I personally, like, to be fair, I'm not represented in any of those letters as a pansexual. I guess I, I also consider myself bisexual sometimes, but, you know. It, a pan, bisexual is a spectrum, I'm pansexual, and I, I'm on that spectrum, but the way that I view things is different, right? A square. So, like, sometimes I don't, I don't care if letters are left off, but I know some people really do care when letters are left off. Like, it, it's, I don't know, I don't, don't feel bad. Don't, I don't want anyone to feel bad, but A squared, exactly. She's gonna go hang out. Oh, yeah, I want her to go bug. Um, her to go to the orphanage. <laughs> Can we have two orphans here? We're gonna flip a coin on which one she chooses. 
that the two was for two spirit oh really that's a really good maybe it could be but i feel like it's like whatever you think right i maybe i made the assumption that the two wasn't oh the two was for two spirit oh there you go it wasn't that never mind the two was not for the two asexuality asexuality agender it was for two spirit there you go see that's what i was saying like it, the the acronym changes so much it has so many different Look at our cute little orphanage. Look at our little orphanage. So cute. So fun. Okay. Which one do we steal, guys? Which one? Which orphan are we stealing? The more you know. I know, right? There's definitely not enough beds for these orphans. We have Neil. And we have... It's Agnes. Every time someone's like, do you have Agatha? I'm like, wait, no. We have Neil and we have Jack. So let's say um, Neil is head, Jack is tails. Let's do that. Neil is head, Jack is tails. Instead of voting, I'm just going to flip a coin. Neil is head, Jack is tails. Okay, flip. Neil. Neil. Okay, Neil's aging up and out of this orphanage. Where's Neil? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. I meant to click Young and Old. <laughs> it's fine. Nothing happened. It's fine. He's just going to be a Young Adult, you guys. It's fine. Nothing. I didn't do anything. I didn't mess up. And oh, someone was asking if we have pets. This household also has a dog. <laughs> and a family. Okay, Neil, we're gonna get married. Congratulations. Congratulations. I'm gonna give it a letter. Out of my ass, I I just watched it replay on my stream preview, which is like delayed a little bit. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, no. Beyonce. We haven't had a wedding in a while. Let's have a little wedding. Because I gave her a little wedding dress, right? The stretch was going to go wild. It go nasty on that. Poor Neil. Here I, he's already, he's in our household for like two seconds and I'm already abusing him. I'm already being terrible. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Okay. Mr. Neil. Okay, you're gonna have a, you, yeah, you're gonna have a wedding right this freaking second. Yes. Last time I forgot to invite, <laughs> yes. You are like Papa Ma Maria. Thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. We're marrying a little child. <laughs> no, guys, we aged him up. It's fine. Um, I don't know why we'd invite Alar, but sure. These are like people. These are like our. Like these are at least our siblings. Oh yeah, we'll do Jack. I feel like it's actually showing up. People we care about for once. Well, it's the second. How do we know? We don't know the Troutmans. Um, our uncle and our brother and our brother's wife. Okay, we're at fifteen out of fifteen. Did I miss anybody? Or am I bringing anyone who's kind of like why them? Bruce John the second doesn't live here. He doesn't live here. These guys all make sense though. These are all Brewsters. Or they all live nearby. Um, they're part of our family. We invited his... Um, oh, you know... Wait, wait, wait. We invited... We'll invite Seraphine because we invited... Uh, we're inviting his foster parents. <laughs> hey, welcome in, Maria. We invited his foster parents. Okay. 
Change mouse, kiss. We'll change it later. Um. Mm. Wedding venue. No, we're doing it now. Wedding time! We love a good wedding. It's not a good decades day without a wedding. Let's be real. It's not a complete decades day without a wedding or some drama happening. You know, we don't always need specifically a wedding, but like, we didn't have enough drama. We need a wedding. It's like a fulfillment we must have. And we have a lot of kids getting married. We have a lot of potential weddings up here. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay. Can we... Please take your seats. Oh, this one. Put your vows and kiss. Is there another? She's not in New York a lot. Could she be in like um? She's low self-esteem. No, answer. What if we had her? Hold on. I think ever. I think all these Sims are here currently. Oh, Barty isn't, but Barty doesn't live here anymore. Everybody else is here, or should be here, because they were invited. We did not invite six Sims. We invited way more Sims than this. I don't know where they're at. It's okay. I think this is our entire family is here. It's okay. I think we can have a small wedding. This is fun. And Agnes. Oh, I love his little blush. <laughs> we love a good wedding. We love a good wedding. Aww. Oh! Mary has gone into labor! I didn't know Mary was pregnant. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't know she was pregnant. Mary, you're gonna have to wait. Mary, Miss Mary Blush. Return of the Blush Boy. I know, Miss Blush Man. Yay! Okay, Mary, we'll come we'll come over your baby now. Wait, hold on, one more. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that's good. Not everyone showed up, but at least all the people that counted did. Our, um, his foster mom and our, and our immediate family all showed up, so that's good. There's Augusta, our cousin, or I don't even know, how related are they to Augusta? Well, there's everybody else. They're all, like, running over. Sheesh! You missed the wedding. You took too long to load onto the lot. Wait, how closely related are they to... Augusta. I'm always curious when I see Sims and I'm like, oh, they're they're family. Like, who is Augusta? I don't think they're very closely related to Augusta. Like, okay, this is their this is her 
dad and his brothers and her grandfather, right? And then, but I think, so I think Augusta's like her second cousin. Because I think Augusta is the daughter of... Yeah, Augusta, so Augusta's the daughter of Edward. So she's, she's like her great aunt or something like that. So she's like, like, so their grandfathers, right? So she's like the daughter of that, right? So she's generation three. Gus is generation three. And Miss Hester is generation four. Getting married. Okay, now that they're married, let's go ahead and roll some baby rolls for them. We're gonna have to go deal with Mary, Mary Blanche's uh baby soon so let's get this quickly done roll for babies if you don't know we roll a d10 for all side households to see if they're gonna have babies 10 means yeah oh yes i remember doing it right now we do it right after the wedding 10 means no babies one through nine means baby tries so oh hi moody welcome oh my god i got a nine no 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 i don't want nine i don't want nine i don't need nine babies i don't need a nine i don't need a nine what another person on the spreadsheet with nine babies we have like three or four right now um you know if we don't get to them we don't get to them no stress no stress miss hester we may not get to your nine babies but we will put them on there oh my gosh we need to put them we need to make them a family spot on the spreadsheet to begin with so let's go ahead and do that Family spot, spreadsheet time, family spot. Gonna need another epidemic at this rate, I know, right? There's plenty of things to come though. Plenty of things to come. Um, let's see, all right. Um, we're gonna go to the bottom and we're gonna continue with our color order after the, the Sims from the New World to this one this is oh hester yeah this, is, this feels like this feels right hester um oh, what was his last name butcher hester butcher <laughs> the butcher <laughs> wait no this is hester this is neil butcher we'll put neil butcher on here neil butcher <laughs> spouse of hester um we'll put a spouse um generation four male dash because he's gonna have the same birthday as her um kind of makes me glad that your vikings have a 35 percent chance of dying of labor yeah it's getting too big it's getting too big and this is why people don't have like a ton of kids like they try not to have so many kids like in their main household it helps but i didn't go that route it, hey at least two of my sims in my current my last main household are not having kids two of the sims one of them got married one of them didn't get married that's why i'm like people are like are you gonna give the gay sims any kids i'm like there's so many kids in this in this uh world already i don't i don't know if i want to add any more <laughs> so that's why i did the orphanage route right our spouses can grow up there and then okay so we're just gonna put miss hester here have a plus next to her name she got married. She has a spouse with a plus. That's kind of what we do for everyone who gets married. We just have them, their spouse, roll at the same time. And there may be some sims that we just maybe fall off our spreadsheet. And may, we might just need to do that. Because I think that's probably why our game might have a little bit of trouble. So eventually, we'll get to so many sims that we'll just need to kill some. Or delete them. You know, I, I'll probably just kill them. We'll probably just have, like, a mass event or something. Um, okay, starting here. It's okay, we're not there yet, though. We're having fun. Um, and, like, there are certainly lots of sims in this world we just never play with, right? So, it's kind of like, well, we'll get there when we get there. I think when we do fifth down, we'll probably end up Hester, Rooster. And then, um, Neil, first time. We get there when we get there, right? Okay. And then marriage babies? Marriage of babies? This red is so bright, but it's the next one in the line. Oh no. Wrong one. This one. This one. Yay! 
Okay, let's go to Mary Blanche. Take this down. We'll come back and we'll give him a big try later. You saw how many people we had on that list. Georgiana's almost off. Uh, but we just keep getting, people keep getting married. Because we have so many sims. So. Yeah. And I also think that eventually we will have a family so big and far apart that our sims can marry each other. Uh, they will have the same genetic line, but they will have enough <laughs> genetic material that it's okay. <laughs> we won't get any freaky sims. Today I found out my best friend beat cancer for the third time. Oh, Trinity, I'm so happy for you. Congratulations to your friend. That's amazing. Truly, like, awesome. Like, what a relief off your, you know, shoulders to know that. Oh my goodness. Lori's your demons have blood that is toxic ingested by humans, so maybe they do that. Do demons trigger disease or disaster? Yeah. I think the problem with the measles is that it hit in the wrong place. Like, if we had it in a different world, like, if we had it in England, it would have been way more disastrous. And I also think that it only targeted certain age groups. So don't worry. We're, we have some things coming up that target way more sims. Um, we'll target way more sims. So I think we'll be okay. It's just getting a little busy getting a little busy we'll do this and this will be our last thing i keep saying one more thing one more thing this will be our last thing today which trials in about 30 years so not that soon but soon enough that's why i'm like well we have the witch trials. we have another um measles epidemic i believe and we have another we have something else in england i think coming up Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. Let us load. Oh my gosh, I have to stream. Oh, I don't get to pick up. I was like, I get to pick out a new book. I'm like, I don't get to pick out a new book because I avoided a bunch of other books I've been reading, so. I've been reading a book called Silver Serpents and I put it down to read Fourth Wing, so. We miss Mary. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Well, good thing you're like really close. I think. Where's the baby room? By the way, this is Q Palace from Queen Charlotte. Kind of awesome. If I do say so myself. Where the heck is the baby room? Oh, right here. There's another bassinet over there. We can have the baby in here. This dress is <laughs> just like floating across the wave. Okay. Miss Mary. What are you going to have for me? These papers are like, I'm outie. Uh, okay. Miss Mary is the uh, wife of the Duke of France. And the Duke is like the highest power we have right now. We are not really playing with royalty at the moment. Um, because then we have servants and other stuff. But the Duke is like the guy in France right now. Um, and he and his wife is having a baby girl. Do we have any French girl names in chat? I can pull up what names the family has already had to help you figure out some options. Miss Mary. Miss Mary. Let's find her. Oh my god. Duke, Adrian, Rush. So they had Alien and Marcel, they died. And then they have Clarice and Louis. Clarice and Louis. Celeste, Pascal, Albertine. Oh, I like those. Lamoid. Okay, well, Lizette. Lamoid. Okay, we have two Lamoids. <laughs> For the girl? Okay. We'll do. What about. We'll do. Genevieve. We already have a Genevieve. We can't do Genevieve. Oh wait, Genevieve died, didn't she? Do we have a Genevieve who's alive? 
Okay, fine. We can do Genevieve. We can do Genevieve. She died really young. They do live in France, but it's okay. We can do Genevieve again. Anne. Um, I said we could do Anne. Okay, so let's do Lemoyne, Celeste, Lizette, Genevieve, and Anne. Those are the first five. Ooh, Marie. Oh, Marie. I might take your Marie instead of Genevieve. I might take that. Let's do... I'm going to do the poll. So we'll do... Um, we'll do La Moide. Fine. Uh, Celeste. Lizette. Uh, Marie. And Anne. We've had a... La Moide Transgender. Okay, well, we'll do it. Vote on the name in chat. Even if you're lurking, you can vote. We can't tell who votes what. So get your little opinion in. Um, we have Lamoy, who is, it's a name for the family of llamas and alpacas, apparently. And everyone loved it in chat when we found that out. Sounds like a French child name. So we have Lamoy, Celeste, Lizette, Marie, and Anne in chat. I like Marie and we don't have a Marie yet. So. And chat says Lemoy transcend gender. Currently, Lemoy is tied with Lizette. I will say, <laughs> if this is twins, it will be Lemoy and Lizette. It'll be Lemoy and Lizette. It'll be Lemoy and Lizette. But I don't think it is. I don't know. There's no way to tell when you're in the screen if it's, there's going to be another baby. So, oh my gosh, it's, it's tied. We need a tiebreaker, you guys, or I will be the tiebreaker. We get a Tim Brothers and Lemoy. We need someone out there. Is anyone going to tie break this poll? You have enough time to refresh if you don't see it. If you're on mobile, you can just exit the stream and then come back in. And it should refresh for you. Um, This is a close poll. Any vast opinions in chat? If you're lurking, don't worry. You will not be outed for lurking if you want to vote in this poll. Oh, God, we got another vote for Celeste. The more than is that are still tied. Marie is one point behind. Anyone want to make this a three-way tie? Anybody? I see, I don't know, I see my viewer count going up. There's got to be someone out there that wants to break this poll. Who wants to break the tie? Lemoyd, and again, Lemoyd is a joke name from chat, but it is pretty funny. It's the Llama family. And then we have Lizette, which is just a great name from our friend Cyan in chat. <gasps> Lemoyd is leading! Lemoyd is leading! Oh my god! It got tied. Oh my god. No way. I Lemoyne was winning and then the last minute someone voted for Lizette. You're about to vote too? Marissa, what were you gonna vote for? What were you gonna vote for? I'm thinking of naming this baby Lizette. Because it's a girl. And I think Lemoyne sounds like a boy name to me. And I think they care about boy and girl names. La Amoyd. Oh my gosh, girls. That would be so funny. Okay, I promise. I'm gonna name it Lizette. You're gonna have a tiebreak for Lizette? Okay, well then, it's that. Uh, I said Lizette too, and so did Marissa, and I trust Marissa. We're gonna go Lizette. If it has a twin, we will do Lemoyd with an L, comma. No, I'm sorry, no twins. It's okay, next baby, next baby, I promise. You can you can vote it again. Lizette is out of the, is out of the standing. Well, Lizette could still die too, by the way. Let's do... Okay, fine. Yeah, you can be a genius. I'm, he's a duke. He can pay to be a genius. Okay, Miss Mary. Mamoy. <laughs> Lizette is a pretty. Yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and roll for this baby. And mom. So mom's first death roll of one. 15. Six. But the baby. 5, 10, 15, 20. The baby dies. So, good thing we didn't use Lemoyne because that's this is a safe a mom, not on the baby. The baby's dead, unless anyone wants to save Lizette. That was so much drama for a letdown. Um, you can save Lizette and save a Sam if you would like to, but I'm gonna be honest, Marissa, do you remember the last baby you saved? It died um in the next, it literally died the next day. 
<laughs> tied because it had an infant age up roll and it died on the infant age up roll yeah the baby the last baby you saved i was so sad i like i waited so long i was like anybody want to save the baby uh, we couldn't save the baby we couldn't save the baby i didn't wait because we couldn't say it save it because you can only save babies once it's just meant to be y'all it's just meant to be you can try and save this one though that's what you get for saving a baby though you're welcome though you're welcome to save this one you're suing. You're suing the Sims. <laughs> suing. Are you suing Maxis? Are you suing me? Are you suing the Decades Challenge? Who are you suing? I could, but you're trying to save your appliances. I'm sure. Sh <laughs> I make this thing so hot. You know, what can I say? Okay, this baby dies, you guys. I'm sorry. But aren't you so glad that Lizette won and not Lemoy from Lemoy Lovers? I'm sorry, Lizette Lovers. I'm so sorry. The good thing is, is like I said about Genevieve, we can reuse this name, just not in this family. Um, uh, anytime an infant or a baby or an infant dies, we um, allow the name to be reused. Um, and in one case, Shaq also died. Just, I'm sorry if anybody didn't hear the news. Um, Shaq did die. Shaquille O'Neal did die. In game. It, not in real life. I'm sorry. My sim, we named, chat named my sim Shaquille O'Neal. Um, and Shaquille O'Neal in my sim game died of measles. He died of measles. <laughs> Maybe I should start with that. And then most people would be like, oh, not the real Shaq. The real Shaq did not die. <laughs> Uh, I was about to say, you are so nonchalant. No, my sim, Shaquille O'Neal, from the O'Neal family, daughter of Mercy O'Neal, my cat named the sim Shaquille because they thought it was funny. Anyway, okay, I'm, he's dead. He's dead, so we can... Maybe I don't want to. <laughs> We're going to the spreadsheet one last time, you guys. One last time. <laughs> I was like, wow, guys, I know. Streamer tells you Shaquille O'Neal died live. A cookie move it closer. No, not the real Shaquille O'Neal. Not the real Shaquille O'Neal. My sim named Shaquille O'Neal. It's context. Context is everything. Don't trust random streamers. Don't trust random streamers to tell you the truth about things. Okay. This is Mary. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to anybody who just heard that and was like, I, huh? Um, this baby has also died. This is, um, Lizette. So we're just filling out Lizette's, um, stuff to say she lived. She was here. There are oh my goodness. To your actions. You, I like Pablo Cookie. Thank you so much for that, Pablo. I'm so sorry I jump scared you like that. I truly am. Female is 1658. She is now deceased. She died in 1658. She was zero and she died of um in birth. Birth. She died in birth. She she just died in birth. Was that? Poor was that? Um, I'm not gonna put her on my timeline because my timeline's really crowded. Um, but I will put her in families. What was that here? And don't worry about this family. Mary literally has like nine baby tries total. So she's fine, you guys. She's got enough baby tries. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and mark her. And this is my baby tracker. Okay, great. We're gonna save. We're gonna save. And then that's everything for today, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. I'm sorry about the jump scare about Shaquille O'Neal. He's not, in fact, actually dead. But the, the sim that you... If you're from my community... He, the child one, is dead. Um, yeah. He, he died of measles. Um, and it was sad. And I promised my child, the reason I'm talking about it is because I promised everyone when we saved him cheating. We cheated to save him. And then he still died. 
when we cheated to save Shaquille O'Neal, um, I said, if he actually dies of measles later on, because we rolled every single day of that year, um, thank you for the fun Oh, God, you're so welcome. Uh, I said that we could rename a kid from that household a similar name. And usually, I don't allow that at all. But chat was so distraught. They wanted to bring out the ambrosia. I was like, no, we're not going to do ambrosia again for a while. Um, if you didn't know, we saved another sim with ambrosia. And it just took so long. It took forever to do it. Um, but it was worth it. We love Lancelot. So, no, we're not saving. Uh, but you can use another baby try in that household. Chanel, <laughs> Chanel O'Neal. Yeah, there you go. There you go. It's funny. It's funny, haha's. We love it so much. Okay, I have to pee so badly. Um, let me find someone to raid. Um, there's always this awkward part where I'm like, okay, I gotta find someone to raid. Let's see, is anyone playing Sims? A lot of people don't play Sims on the weekend. I noticed. But I know, like my regulars. Everyone's gone on vacation. Let's see. Let us see. Okay. Who is someone we haven't rated in a bit? Ooh. I'm gonna read this person. Their title seems really cool. Don't see anybody playing this challenge. I don't see anyone playing this challenge, but this person seems cool and chill. Let's see what's their name. Oh, everyone, thank you so much for this awesome, awesome night. I wonder if you guys know this person. Um Go ahead and join my Discord. You can follow me on Twitter. But if you join my Discord, you will be notified when I go live. Any schedule changes, like yesterday, we like had a big schedule change. I usually stream um, an alternative game on Fridays, and that alternative game was down, and I couldn't play it because it was gonna be a yeah, it was gonna be pit Palea. Um, we'll find another time to play Palea. Um, I might go live early tomorrow. I'm not sure. I have some things to get done. We'll see if I get them done. So, um, if not, I'll be back here at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time starting Decades Challenge. So you can count on that. Decades Challenge at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, I think the raid is leaving you behind. Oh, I haven't even started the raid. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm just getting my stuff together. I'm waiting for the ads to stop. So, okay, I started it now. It should be fine. It's, um, it just when sometimes people have pre- roll ads and I like to have the stream loaded before I um go and read them because then I can talk to them this person is their title is a vampire ballroom battle and their sim looks really hot um and their name is oodles oodles of noodles and I just you know it feels relevant um <laughs> we're gonna use Bruin Ray you can do this emote you can do your favorite emote you can do the standing guy emote like Katie suggested earlier. Oh, there's ads right now. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Let me... Oh, wait, hold on. Snooze ads. Snoozing ads. There we go. Snoozing ads. I was like, wait, is there ads? Are ads playing? I didn't even notice. It just said they were going. So go ahead and put that when we raid it. You can put that Bruin raid with that emote or Bruin raid with what Danny said with the uh, standing. You guys want to do standing today? We can do standing. I'll do it too. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Fun stuff. Okay. Um, be nice to this person. Um, tell me how you like them. Um, all right. See you tomorrow. Love you all. Bye. Goodbye. Have a good night. <laughs>